following is a special presentation from the WKLM Sports Department. It's time now for high school basketball from your hometown radio station, FM 95.3 WKLM. Sierra Pacific windows and doors are MRV Siding Supply. Their products enhance any decor and make any home brighter, more inviting and more comfortable with all wood windows in nine wood species with 59 exterior colors. Whether you're replacing, renovating, remodeling, or rebuilding, they have exactly what you're looking for. From their Sierra Pacific Transcend replacement windows and doors to their Westchester double hung windows, that's MRV Siding Supply on County Road 624 in Middlesburg or on the web at MRVSiding.com. Get your siding supplies from the siding guys. MRV Siding Supply. Get your vehicle back on the road smooth and problem-free with Village Motors Collision Center. Hi, this is Deke Miller, and our Collision Center works on all makes and models and has available deductible assistance, along with loaner and rental vehicles available for your use, complimentary oil change packages, not to mention that we are the preferred repair shop for most insurance companies. Ask us about our cleanup packages with four great packages from basic to premium by appointment only starting at $19.95. For collision repair, make your first stop at Village Motors in Millersburg. Call Berlin Heating and Cooling, your Ream Pro partner, and you know you're calling the very best. Berlin Heating and Cooling services and installs Ream and all other types of furnaces and equipment. Berlin Heating and Cooling, they're your local team you can trust. Call them today at 330-893-3057. That's 330-893-3057. Are you ready to tackle home improvement with a winning team? Look no further than Wayne Door, your MVP for all things doors and windows. Score big with their championship lineup. Garage doors, openers, entry and storm doors, windows, patio doors, and more. Just like a winning play, Wayne Door offers an unbeatable sales team, flawless installation, and game-changing service. Their local experts ensure you're always in the lead. Don't settle for anything less. Visit them today at WayneDoor.com or stop by their showroom and elevate with your home improvement game with the experts. Wayne Door, people you can trust since 1973. EcoSeal Home Solutions has been serving all of Northeast and Central Ohio as the leader in foundation waterproofing and repair, basement exit systems, and gravel delivery. Whether you're building a new home or your existing home's foundation and basement is in need of some TLC, EcoSeal has the answer. For more information or to schedule a free estimate, call 330-893-SEAL. That's 330-893-7325. Did you know that one of the nation's top hospitals was founded right here in Holmes County? It's true. Pomerine Hospital was recently named a top 20 rural and community hospital by the National Rural Health Association. For 75 years, Pomerine has applied the latest medical expertise to meet the unique needs of our community. And today, they continue to lead the way in reliable patient outcomes, from outpatient services to life-saving surgeries. Learn more about the many ways Pomerine provides award-winning care right in your backyard. Visit pomerinehospital.org. This is Matt Kinsey. At First Federal Community Bank, our mission is to empower the financial well-being of our community one person at a time. Through integrity and quality, we earn the trust of our customers and exceed their expectations. First Federal Community Bank, investing in our community since 1898. Serving your banking needs in Dover, New Philadelphia, Yerkesville, Sugar Creek, Berlin, and Mount Hope. First Federal Community Bank, member FDIC. Whatever Mother Nature has in store, you're not worried because you've got Yokohama's Geolander AT-015 on your side. Stop by Holmes Tire LLC to find out what a new set of all-terrain tires can do for your truck or SUV. This tire is all traction designed to take you from the pavement to the trail in any weather, anytime you want. Discover the Yokohama Geolander AT-015 and get ready to experience what all-terrain is all about. Stop by Holmes Tire LLC today and fill out a finance application for approval with no credit needed on new tire purchases. Call Holmes Tire LLC in Millersburg 
Pittsburgh, 330-674-0025, or their other locations in Spencer, Mount Vernon, and now open in Loudonville. It's time for Before the Tip, brought to you by Hobbins Insurance in Millersburg. Loading the kids in the car, brokering peace in the back seat, mastering the snack handoff without even looking. Why are simple things sometimes so complicated? Thankfully, with auto owners, insurance doesn't have to be one of them. We work with independent agents who keep insurance simple so you can worry about more important things, like figuring out what's growing in that cup holder. That's simple human sense. Contact your local auto owner's insurance agent, Hobrin's Insurance Service, 170 South Clay Street in Millersburg. Call 1-800-340-3767. Alongside Highland Hawks, head basketball coach Mark Stable coming off that three-point victory over Shady Side and move on to tonight's district championship game. And you look at that last game, Mark, it really was that start of the game, that 12 run early on really made a big difference in terms of going on to eventually getting that win. Yeah, I mean, we, we knew getting off to a good start was a big key, and uh, we knew Shady Side could really score. And, um, yeah, I just thought our kids did a good job. You know, we, we played good defense. They made some great shots. But, uh, you know, overall, good, good, solid game from our kids. Hey, just an example where you got the other team's best shot, the, these guys still found a way to get a victory. Yeah, we um, – Thought we did, again just, just did just enough. Uh, made free throws down the stretch. Uh, got a couple big rebounds late. So yeah, it was we were proud of our guys. Take on Monroe Central, of course, for them, having a career season for them. A top seed here, of course, led by Tucker Howe for this basketball team. What stands out to you about this Monroe Central team? Well, they play really fast. Um, they're a great rebounding team, and, and I mean, you know, watching them, and we've seen them a couple times in person, a couple times on film. They've had ten different kids score. So they have a lot of kids that play, but they have a lot of kids that score the basketball also. So they're very deep and just, uh, yeah, they're well coached. They're a good team. Defensively, Mark, what does that mean for you guys then? I think the biggest key is transition defense. Uh, they, they score a lot in transition. Uh, you know, they steals, uh, long defensive rebounds. They turn those into points. Um, and then they're a great offensive rebounding team. So our two biggest keys, transition defense and then trying to keep them off the boards. How about offensively, Mark? You saw some good things for your team last uh, game. Alex Miller, another good example of guys, you know, knocked down some shots the last game. How big was that kind of transition to a game like this where we're going to have to knock down some shots? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, we feel really good about, you know, Sammy, Nick, Alex. You know, they were they had huge games, but they were the guys that have been in that situation before. And But we feel good that we've got three kids that have been in a game like this. These games are tough. These games are high pressure. The crowd's crazy. Um, you know, our kids haven't played this game before, but, you know, hopefully after that first quarter, the nerves will kind of settle and they'll be okay. All right, Mark, thanks for your time and good luck tonight. All right, thank you. That's the voice of Highland Hawks head basketball coach, Mark Schleyball. Before the tip has been brought to you by Hobbins Insurance in Millersburg. If you're looking for a creative, innovative, and affordable experience in home building, then look no further than Fingerprint Homes. At Fingerprint Homes, we've reinvented the home building experience using a technology-driven six-step process that's backed by personalized customer service at every step of the way. Check out our interactive website at www.fingerprinthomes.com or call today to schedule your appointment at 330-234-9004. At Fingerprint Homes, we're more than builders. We're your partners. Get financial solutions when you need it from Dave Schleyball Financial Services. After winning six state championships as a head basketball coach, Dave Schleyball knows that planning, preparation, and hard work can lead to success. And the same can be applied to your financial future. Whether you are a young adult, individual, family, or a business, Dave Stable Financial Services will establish financial goals and income protection. Contact Dave Stable Financial Services at 893-1900, located at 4585 State Route 39, Millersburg. Securities offered through ON Equity Sales Company, member FINRA SIPC. Since 1991, the Holmes County Education and Community Foundation has awarded more than $11 million in scholarships to nearly 2,800 Holmes County residents pursuing higher education. Scholarship applications for the 2024-2025 academic year will open in January. To apply, please visit our website at www.hcef.net. Holmes County residents and Holmes County High School graduating seniors may apply. 
Unlock your potential at Buckeye Career Center's Spring Open House on Thursday, March 21st from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. This is your chance to explore cutting-edge programs, meet passionate instructors, enjoy dinner, and apply for next school year at this combined high school and adult education event. Plus, join us for an alumni gathering in the Joe Carlisle Marketplace. The $50 adult education application fee will be waived for those who apply at the event. Join us Thursday, March 21st at Buckeye Career Center for our Spring Open House. During this time out, we at Dr. Brad Walsh and Associates want to thank our patients of the past 29 years for being part of our dental family. Dr. Walsh, Dr. Reeser, and Dr. Bostic not only provide routine dental procedures, they also offer advanced dental care, including root canals, wisdom teeth removal, implants, and orthodontics. Emergency care and new patients are always welcome. To schedule an appointment, call us at 330-674-4876 or visit us online at drbradwalsh.com. Hi, I'm Eugene with Yoder Family Roofing and Spouting. We are located in Millersburg, Ohio and have been serving our community for the past 25 years. When was the last time you thought about having your roof inspected or spouting cleaned? You can find us online at yoderfamilyroofing.com or by giving us a call or text at 330-695-3000. Again, that's 330-695-3000 for all your roofing and spouting needs. When it comes to service, nobody cares more than Village Motors in Millersburg. This is Deke Miller, and I'm proud to say that we have state-of-the-art equipment and factory-trained technicians working on your vehicle when you visit. And we also offer a variety of preventative maintenance programs designed to greatly reduce the cost of your service visits. We are competitive, convenient, and we care. So the next time you need your vehicle service, stop by and see us at Village Motors in Millersburg. If it's time for your business to expand, then your project deserves a proven design and construction firm known for keeping their word. And that's the design construction professionals at Weaver Commercial Contractors. Offering architectural design and drafting, general contracting, pre-construction services, budget consultation, and more. But don't take my word for it. Check us out today at WeaverCC.com and see what others are saying about Weaver Commercial Contractors. Give us a call today at 330-264-9020 or check us out in person at 172 Old Lincoln Way in Dalton. Weaver Commercial Contractors build on solid relationships. Monroe Central coming off a 15-9 campaign a season ago. This actually is a rematch of last year's sectional championship game at the Recenter, where Highland was the three seed at the time. They defeated the 16 Monroe Central going away by the score of 73-30 in that matchup last season. Obviously a similar team that has grown up a lot from last year to this season. We know Highland, of course, would go on all the way to the state semifinals last year in Dayton, falling to Convoy Crestview a season ago. Stay tuned, we'll have more to come on the pregame show after this on WKLM. Are you looking for a bank that understands your local needs? Look no further than Kilbuck Savings Bank. We're your neighbors, your friends, and your partners in financial success. At Kilbuck Savings Bank, we pride ourselves on offering personalized service tailored to you. We are a community bank that is large enough to help you achieve your goals while continuing to care about the communities we serve. We wish all teams the best of luck this season. KSB, a Bauer five-star financial rated bank, member FDIC, Equal housing lender. At Home Siding Contractors, our mission is to give homeowners a quality product. Whether it's our vinyl siding or our energy efficient replacement windows and doors, Home Siding Contractors is ready to turn your home into one of your biggest energy saving assets. You'll notice the difference as your home will stay warmer in the winter and cooler in the summer. Call 888-725-6619 for a in-home estimate or find all of our products at homesiding.com. At Troyer Signs, we specialize in helping you find the perfect way to advertise your business. We have over 42 years of experience creating custom interior and exterior signs, as well as vehicle lettering and much more. Stop by and see us at 2740 South Honeytown Road here in Worcester. Follow us on Facebook or check us out at www.troyersigns.com.
Stop cleaning your gutters. Get Gutter Bonnet and ABC Seamless Gutters, and your gutters will stay clog-free, guaranteed, or we'll clean your gutters free. Hi, this is Lauren Miller with Miller Custom Exteriors. Our gutters are 33% larger to prevent overflow, and our leaf protection keeps out leaves and debris. It's the perfect combination to keep your gutters worry-free. Call Miller Custom Exteriors today and say goodbye to cleaning your gutters. Visit us online at MillerCustomExteriors.com. Craving a mouth-watering slice of pizza? Look no further than Charm Pizza, where each pizza is crafted with the freshest ingredients in their exclusive secret sauce. Whether you're a classic pepperoni enthusiast, a lover of wings, or intrigued by their pizza of the month, they have a delightful option for everyone. Come out and visit them in the heart of Charm, where you can savor a mouth-watering, freshly made pizza exactly the way you like it. Dine in or carry out. You can give Charm Pizza a call to order at 330-893-7938. The pizza of the month for March is Buffalo Chicken. Are you having ongoing issues with your flat or low slope roof? MEB Systems of Sugar Creek specializes in flat or low slope roofs and has been serving the community and beyond since 1977. Whether it's tracking down or resolving that persistent leak, you are in need of a complete roof replacement, or you have a new build, MEB Systems will strive to find the best solution for you. They believe if a job is worth doing, it's worth doing right. Call MEB Systems Incorporated today at 330-852-4333 and visit them online at mebsystems.com. MEB Systems wishes all Holmes County athletes a safe and healthy season. Holmes Limestone Company of Berlin is a proud supporter of all Holmes County athletes, and they understand scholar athletes work hard in the gym and in the classroom, spending long hours, late nights, and sacrifices for not only their personal goals, but also their team. Your friends at Holmes Limestone have been in business since 1948, and they are located on State Route 39 east of Berlin. Holmes Limestone would like to take this opportunity to salute parents, coaches, teachers, and athletes for their hard work and dedication throughout the year. Holmes Limestone, proud to be a part of your community. If you're looking for a creative, innovative, and affordable experience in home building, then look no further than Fingerprint Homes. At Fingerprint Homes, we've reinvented the home building experience using a technology-driven six-step process that's backed by personalized customer service at every step of the way. Check out our interactive website at www.fingerprinthomes.com or call today to schedule your appointment at 330-234-9004. At Fingerprint Homes, we're more than builders. We're your partners. Came back and played Martin's Ferry again, their final game of the regular season, and beat them on their home floor, 79 to 63. Martin Motor Central has the record of 23 and 1, the most wins in a single season of school history. They're the eighth ranked team in Division 4 and coming into this contest as well. As for Highland, where six losses of the season for them fell to Dover this year, also Lutheran East, Garraway, a loss to Ottawa Glandor. Indian Valley in, fell to East Canton as well. Highland is ranked 10th in Division 4. Highland a record of 19-6 on the year. Monroe Central 23-1. Highland averaging 52 a game. The Seminoles are averaging 64 points per contest. The Hawks giving up 43 a game while Monroe Central gives up 39.9 a game on the defensive end. We'll take a break, come back with more on the pregame show after this on WKLM. At the Mount Hope Auction every Wednesday, the Flea and Farmer's Market opens at 7 a.m. The hay sale begins at 9.30 a.m. in Ring 2. At 9 a.m., the goat sale begins, followed by sheep. At 10.30 a.m. in the main ring, they start with farm calves, followed by dairy, pigs, hogs, feeders, followed by bulls, fat cattle, and call cows. The poultry and rabbit sale begins at 1 p.m. For more information on other sales and happenings at the Mount Hope Event Center throughout the year, you can go to mounthopeauction.com. Hi, this is Moe's Beach, and I'm an independent representative of Beamer Group. Find out more about the new Beamer Premium Evo set, which offers a complete package for optimal health. With 16 flexible coils, it can increase efficiency and ensure a perfect distribution of the proven Beamer signal throughout your body. Learn more about the FDA-cleared Class 2 medical device and experience an 8-minute session. Call Moe's at 330-231-8010 for a Beamer consultation or low Log on to a life.beamergroup.com. That's A L I F E dot B E M E R group.com. It's time to be thinking about those concrete projects. Call Homes Ready Mix of Millersburg 
offering ready mix concrete, precast blocks, and a variety of mason and concrete products. Call today for prices and delivery options of ready mix concrete at 674-0865 or sand and gravel at 674-8121. That's Homes Ready Mix of Millersburg, a proud supporter of all Holmes County athletes. If you're looking for a career in custom home construction, then join the team of professionals at Weaver Custom Homes. Weaver Custom Homes and ESOP Company offers competitive salary packages, retirement benefits, paid vacation, flexible hours, and so much more. Check us out today at www.weavercustomhomes.com or give us a call at 330-264-5444. Weaver Custom Homes, providing quality custom homes for over 40 years. Critchfield Law Firm has always been dedicated to providing the highest quality legal services to their clients throughout Holmes County and surrounding areas. Critchfield Law Firm also understands the dedication of our youth. From the classroom to the music room to athletics, Holmes County's best is represented in every academic area. Critchfield Law Firm in Millersburg, wishing all who participate the best in their endeavors. Founded in 2005, Casa de Saucy Stone has been dedicated to serving the building industry and providing distributors with stone veneer products that exceed customer expectations. The innovative, creative staff at Casa de Saucy pride themselves on developing quality and transformative products that will take your project to the next level. For more information or to join their team, visit them at www.casadesaucy.com or give them a call at 330-830-9760. Your partners at Casa de Saucy Stone like to wish all the area teams good luck down the tournament trail are you looking for help caring for an aging loved one? Choose the nationally recognized care and services at Walnut Hills and Walnut Creek. Walnut Hills has been named an America's Best CCRC by Newsweek and a Best Nursing Home by U.S. News for 2024. And Walnut Hills has again earned a five-star rating from CMS. And with living options ranging from independent and assisted living to skilled nursing care and short-term rehabilitation, the outstanding experienced team at Walnut Hills is here to help your family. For more information or to schedule a tour, Call 330-893-3200. If it's time for your business to expand, then your project deserves a proven design and construction firm known for keeping their word. And that's the design construction professionals at Weaver Commercial Contractors. Offering architectural design and drafting, general contracting, pre-construction services, budget consultation, and more. But don't take my word for it. Check us out today at WeaverCC.com and see what others are saying about Weaver Commercial Contractors. Give us a call today at 330-264-9020 or check us out in person at 172 Old Lincoln Way in Dalton. Weaver Commercial Contractors built on solid relationships. Highland of the two seed, Monroe Central, the top seed in this East District this year. Highland won over the 16 seed, Bellsville, 64 to 9, then captured the sectional title over the 11 seed, Stralsburg, 37 26. Monroe Central, on the other hand, they would win in their sectional tournament game, 38 to 29, a low scoring win over Shenandoah, the 10 seed, and then down the 9 seed, Bridgeport, in the sectional final going away, 67 to 16. Highland won their district semifinal game over the 16 Shady side by three points, 57-54. Well, for Monroe Central, they were down the five seed Bishop Rosecrans by 10, 61 to 51. Highland, the two seed, Monroe Central, the top seed in the district championship game for the Seminoles, the first time in school history they played in the district final. The winner of this game moves on to the regional semifinals next Tuesday against either Northside Christian or Northmore. Next Tuesday, March the 12th, 6 p.m at the Convocation Center at Ohio University. Highland, meanwhile, they have won seven consecutive district championships, going for number eight if they can get a win here tonight. Don Hall alongside for the broadcast. We'll get some comments from him right after this on WKLM. 
The employees of Holmes Wayne Electric Cooperative work hard and wear many hats at the cooperative. But that dedication goes beyond providing power to keep the lights on. They also are very active in their communities. Some volunteer at their local church, others are coaching youth, and some giving back through working for their township or community board. So what makes this cooperative different? They focus on people. Holmes Wayne Electric, always here for their members, always here for their community. Get your vehicle back on the road smooth and problem-free with Village Motors Collision Center. Hi, this is Deke Miller, and our Collision Center works on all makes and models and has available deductible assistance, along with loaner and rental vehicles available for your use, complimentary oil change packages, not to mention that we are the preferred repair shop for most insurance companies. Ask us about our cleanup packages with four great packages from basic to premium by appointment only starting at $19.95. For collision repair, make your first stop at Village Motors in Millersburg. Time is ticking and your dream home is waiting. This is Ben Hirschberger at the Commercial and Savings Bank. We understand that buying a home can be overwhelming, but with CSB, it's easier than ever. We offer a range of options. Whether you're looking to buy, build, refinance, or improve your home, our mortgage lenders will guide you every step of the way. Visit our website at csb1.com to apply online today and turn your dream into a reality. The Commercial and Savings Bank, where home ownership begins. Member FDIC equal housing lender. Broman & Byler in Millersburg is a local full-service accounting firm. Hello, this is John Byler. We offer a complete range of services from tax, business, and estate planning to bookkeeping and payroll services. When choosing a financial advisor at tax time, choose Broman & Byler at 161 North Washington Street in Millersburg. You can reach us at 330-674-8222. Top two seeds in Division 4 East Central going at it tonight in Union Local. Highland against Middle Central for the right to move on to next Tuesday's regional semifinals. McAway alongside Don Hall. In front of the packed crowd tonight, and it should be a heck of an atmosphere of the seeding, Don. This is unbelievable, Matt. I mean, we got here at, I don't know, I pulled in a little after five, and there was a line out front that was unbelievably long, and, and, uh, and it's just resonated now the stands are absolutely full i mean it's just people standing on the corners right now i mean it's just standing your room only but back to the game it's it's i've never been more true to the fact that this is a mirror image of each other right. okay they all when you when i start the lineups tonight when you hear that i'm going to announce all guards on both times so i like to get the tempo out and try to score uh, as quick as they can so uh depth and tempo is going to be two keys tonight how much of that to that don is who kind of handles this uh, the pressure this crowd this atmosphere especially early on well that's true i mean monroe, monroe central hasn't been probably played in front of a packed house like this or played against a team you know the quality of highland right now but highland's got a couple guys that you know have been there done that type thing uh so I know Monroe Central has a couple freshmen right now, but obviously at the end of the season, those freshmen aren't freshmen anymore. They're their season sophomores, you might as well say, but uh, going to be a great game tonight. Should be a good one. Don't go away. We'll be back around. Don Hall have tonight's starting lineups so with the opening tip after that on WKLM. Sauls in Berlin wishes good luck to all Holmes County coaches, players, and families on the tournament trail. They also invite you to stop in and see all the new spring items they have to offer, including potting benches and glass window boxes. If you're looking for a one-of-a-kind unique item, including a large selection of hot sauces, marinara, and salsas to share with the community, visit Sauls online at SaulsInBerlin.com or find them on Facebook. Resetting your password. Unsubscribing from emails. Printing anything. Why are simple things sometimes so complicated? Thankfully, with an auto owner's insurance independent agent, getting the right coverage for your business doesn't have to be one of them. So you can get back to more important things, like learning how that printer works. That's simple human sense. Visit Hummel Group in Berlin, Mansfield, Newark, Orville, and Worcester, or online at HummelGRP.com. Discover this new construction plan unit development, single-family home, located at 1001 Sycamore Lane in Millersburg. That is listed for sale by Coffin Realty and Auctions, with an asking price of $239,000. This townhouse property was built in 2023. It has two bedrooms and two full baths, with 1,400 square feet, located in the West Olds Local School District. For more information or to choose a date and sign to see this property, contact Pedro Guzman 
at 330-852-4111 or check it out at KaufmanRealty.com. Taking on a large exterior home project is no small task. When you're looking for the best options in roofing, siding, windows, and doors, Provia products are the clear choice. At Provia, quality is engineered into the product, integrity is never compromised, and local craftsmanship delivers a stunning final result that will last for generations. Our experts at Keim Home Center are here to help you explore the possibilities. Visit Keim in Charm, Ohio. Keim, built on trust since 1911. There's nothing better than the sound of a hammer, a drill, and a saw. a and Builders in Berlin has been putting all those tools to work for the past 25 years. If you need re-roofing work done, a and Builders is the place to call. They'll also do new homes for both residential and general contractors, along with pool buildings, decks, and custom framing. Call a and Builders in Berlin at 893-2111. That's 893-2111. Fikert Concrete, located on County Road 189 between Benton and Holmesville, specializes in ready-mix concrete and state-approved limestone, sand, and gravel. All mixed styles are available, and you can count on fast, dependable delivery and competitive prices. Fikert Concrete has served homes and surrounding counties for over 75 years. Call Fikert Concrete today for all your concrete needs at 674-0038. Remember, for quality concrete, it's Fikert Concrete. It's time to clear out the old, and you can get a great deal now. With new models arriving daily, Millersburg Electric must make room. Get big savings on over 50 closeout and floor display models. Gas and electric ranges, laundry products, refrigerators, dishwashers, and much more. From all the popular brands, including GE, Cafe, Frigidaire, and more. Don't delay as the inventory goes down each day. So hurry in for big savings. Millersburg Electric on State Route 83 South in Millersburg. Or 24-7 at Millersburg Electric. When it comes to service, nobody cares more than Village Motors in Millersburg. This is Deke Miller, and I'm proud to say that we have state-of-the-art equipment and factory-trained technicians working on your vehicle when you visit. And we also offer a variety of preventative maintenance programs designed to greatly reduce the cost of your service visits. We are competitive, convenient, and we care. So the next time you need your vehicle service, stop by and see us at Village Motors in Millersburg. That's brought to you as always by Finish Line Auto Body, located on the north side of Middlesbrough. If your car is damaged, the best place to get it back in the game is at Finish Line Auto Body. Now tonight's starting lineups, here's Don Hall. Thank you very much, Matt. Starting tonight for the visiting team on the scoreboard, your Highland Hawks. Number 10, a 5'11 inch junior guard, averaging 3.9 points a game, Logan Hirschberger. Number 11, a 6'1 senior guard, averaging 18 points a game, Sammy Detweiler. Number 13, a six-foot junior guard, averaging 5.1 points a game, Sam Wingard. Number 15, a five-foot, nine-inch sophomore guard, averaging 7.9 points a game, Alex Miller. And rounding out your starting five, number 24, a six-foot, three-inch three junior guard, averaging 12.8 points a game and five rebounds a game, Nick Wigton. High on the 10th ranked team in Division Four, a record of 19 and six, going for their eighth consecutive district championship. They're coached by Mark Stable in his 19th year. And for your home team tonight on the scoreboard, the Monroe Central Seminoles, number three, a five foot 10 inch senior guard, averaging 2.7 points a game, Lane Demchik. Number five, a six foot three junior guard, averaging 10.7 points a game and 5.5 rebounds a game, Chance Allen. Number 10, a six foot junior guard, averaging 4.8 points a game, Dylan Pardon. Number 20, a six foot freshman guard, averaging 7.3 points a game, Cooper Howe. And rounding out your starting five, number 22, a six foot one inch junior guard, averaging 19.7 points a game and 10.7 rebounds a game, Tucker Howe. And the Seminoles, the eighth ranked team in Division IV, a record of 23 and one. That's the most wins in a single season in school history. And they're playing in the district finals for the first time ever. And they're coached by Mason Lang. And the storyline is brought to you by Finish Line Auto Body. We have experts in collision repair and paint jobs that will have your car looking brand new. We'll even help with up to $500 of your insurance deductible. Give Brooks a call, 330-674-1483. Matt Coy alongside Don Hall for tonight's broadcast. It's also Brogan Steinle back at WKLM Sports Central. We're glad to have you with us on FN 95.3. 
and WKLMFM.com. We're also video live streaming tonight's contest on the WKLM YouTube page. Courtesy of the Claxton Communication Team, Jacob Hetty producing tonight's live stream coverage. Sean Troyer working the cameras. Go to YouTube, search WKLM Radio to find the live stream coverage for tonight's contest. We'll take a break. Come back with the opening tip after this on WKLM. If you're looking for a creative, innovative, and affordable experience in home building, then look no further than Fingerprint Homes. At Fingerprint Homes, we've reinvented the home building experience using a technology-driven six-step process that's backed by personalized customer service at every step of the way. Check out our interactive website at www.fingerprinthomes.com or call today to schedule your appointment at 330-234-9004. At Fingerprint Homes, we're more than builders. We're your partners. Denco Marketing of Millersburg has customers in all 50 states, Canada, and South America. Each day, over 300 shipments of garage door parts are shipped to customers everywhere by Denco Marketing. And while Denco Marketing appreciates this wide and varied market in the country and in the world, the thing they appreciate most is where they are located, home. That's why they support various community activities and devote as much attention to here as to there. At Denco Marketing, the most important business at hand is the business of home. If it's time for your business to expand, then your project deserves a proven design and construction firm known for keeping their word. And that's the Design Construction Professionals at Weaver Commercial Contractors. Offering architectural design and drafting, general contracting, pre-construction services, budget consultation, and more. But don't take my word for it. Check us out today at WeaverCC.com and see what others are saying about Weaver Commercial Contractors. Give us a call today at 330-264-9020 or check us out in person at 172 Old Lincoln Way in Dalton. Weaver Commercial Contractors build on solid relationships. Highland wear their black jerseys and black shorts, renderables and red and white trim. Moreau Central, their white jerseys and white shorts, black renderables and red and black trim as well for tonight. Winner moves on again to the regional semifinals next Tuesday at the Convo at Ohio University, 6 p.m. against either Northside Christian or North Moore. We'll take another break. Come back with the opening tip right after this on WKLM. Stop in all this week for these great savings at Rody's IGA. Hi, this is Scott Rody. We have boneless whole pork loin, $1.98 a pound. Center cut pork chops, $2.98 a pound. Fresh ground round, 85% lean. Family pack, $2.98 a pound. We also have boneless New York strip steaks, $8.98 a pound. Boneless beef London broil, $3.98 a pound. 12 to 16 ounce Hormel sliced bacon, $3.98. And no waste broccoli crowns for $0.79 cents a pound. That's now through Sunday at Rody's IGA Marketplace in Millersburg. Reminder, tomorrow night we'll have Girls Division IV Regional Championship Basketball from Pickerington North. But of course, Highland taking on Waterford for that game will be live on FN 95.3 and WKLMFM.com. We'll also be video streaming the game and posting that on the light directly after the game is over with. So again, just like on uh, the other night, we'll have that the video on the light immediately following the game. Go to YouTube after the game for tomorrow night. Of course, tonight it is the live stream covers, live video for tonight's broadcast on YouTube as well as on FN 95.3 and WKLNFM.com. And for the Hawks, it's Nick Bigden jumping 6'3 junior. And for Moreau Central, that is going to be Tucker Howe. He's a 6'1 junior. A packed house. We're ready to go from Union Local High School. There's the whistle. And there was the toss. It'll be slapped around. Cheeks down by who? Going to be saved and picked up by the Cinemals and grabbed. Now top goes to Howe. And the Seminoles have it going from right to left. Back in the left side goes the Pardon. Dribbles it out top. Pass left wing. The drive to the foul line by Tucker Howe. Crossover cut off. Now to Cooper Howe. Dribbles it to the foul line. Kicks the right wing. Back to Dylan Pardon. Drive. Scoop shot off the glass and good. Dylan Pardon. 2 nothing Seminoles. Highland has it going left to right. Alex Miller across the midcourt line. Bounce pass, left point, received by Sam Winger. On the right point, to Alex Miller inside. Grabbed by Logan Hersberger, right wing the winger. Drive by Wigdon to the foul line. His shot inside the paint, up in the air, knocks it down, Nick Wigdon. Flies way to get into the middle for Nick Wigdon. Nice little finish for him as well. They'll tie it up. 
A minute into the first quarter, Seminoles basketball across midcourt. Dylan Parvin dribbles it high on the right side. Picks it up, whips it out top, goes to Tucker Howe. The 6'1 junior averaging 19 and a half a game and 10 and a half rebounds per contest. Now the freshman has it. Here's Parvin, dribbles it out top. And the foul line goes to Allen, throws it away. The turnover, and Highland has it. Here's Sammy Detweiler, pass to the corner. Drive by Hershberger, his layup from me, rejected out of bounds by Tucker Howe. Boy, how could get up in the air right there. Yes, he can. Highland will keep it, though, tied at two. And the win down beneath the backboard is Alex Miller. To the right corner, grabbed by Luka Hershberger, dribbles it out top. The handoff to Detweiler. Jab step, left point now to Alex Miller. Dribbles it left wing. Now out top of the basketball. On the right wing goes to Wigdon. Wigdon dribbles it out to the foul line. In traffic. Jumps it inside. Here's Wigdon. Under the basket. Reverse layup. It's going to be good. Oh, nice job by Sam Wigdon. Good little fake and turn around back in. Highland their first lead at 4 to 2. 6 19 to play in the first. Seminoles basketball. Here's Tucker Howe into the front court. Dribbles the right point. Back in the right wing. Received now by Chance Allen. Allen drive to the baseline, spins around, shot inside the paint by Allen. Gonna be no good rebound, goes to Nick Rigdon. Highland basketball in a 4-2 lead. Rigdon will walk it across the midcourt line. Has it out top. Left wing, Hershberger into the corner. Alex Miller drive to the baseline. His pass, right corner to Detweiler. His three-pointer gonna be knocked down. Boy, good penetration by Miller. Nice shot by Sammy Detweiler. Highland a 7-0 run. The Hawks have a five-point lead. Seminoles basketball, here's Howe on the right wing to the foul line, spins around the lane, he lost it, stolen away by Hershberger. And Highland has it, he's second in the low central turnover. Highland ball, Alex Miller now to the foul line, to the lane, and clipped up past right wing, Detweiler back to Alex Miller in the corner. Spins around to the baseline, Miller, pass inside, nice dish, <laughs> back in, look at Hershberger. Time out below Central Highland, a 9-0 run. They win it 9-2-5, 21 to play first quarter. This is District Championship Basketball on KOM. MRV Sunning Supply is introducing another line of stone called Casa di Sassi, where old world charm meets modern luxury. Whether you're looking to enhance your outdoor space or add a touch of sophistication to your interior design, their wide range of products will meet your every need. Choose from a variety of styles and colors to create the perfect ambiance for your space. Casa di Sassi, where timeless beauty meets exceptional quality. Discover the possibilities at MRV Sunning Supply on County Road 624 in Middlesburg or on the web at mrvsunning.com. Get your siding supplies from the siding guys. MRV Siding Supply. Seminoles basketball out of the timeout against the Highland focal pressure. Highland in the midst of a 9 0 run. In Bennett, grabbed by Chance Allen. Pressure backs off. Allen will dribble across mid court. He'll have it high on the right side. 9 2 Hawks. On the left wing, the handoff goes to Tucker Howe for the Seminoles. Dribbles it out top. Howe. Guarded by Sam Winger, back on the left side. Grabbed by Cooper Howe. In the quarter goes to Allen, inside, received now by Pardon. cross court pass back on the far side to Lane Jimchak. Inside to Tucker Howe, his layup gonna be good. Boy, Tucker Howe, nice little face cut. Got it open down the middle, nice finish. Snaps a 9-0 Hawks run. Highland has the lead and the basketball, it's 9-4. 4.45 to play first quarter. Here's Alex Miller out top, in the left wing to Detweiler. Dribbles it out top. Detweiler to the foul line. Right wing goes to Wigdon. Wigdon to the baseline. His cross court pass. Tracked down by top by Alex Miller. Dry lane. Left in the layup. No good by Miller. Rebound tracked down by Dimchak. He'll have it out top. Pass deflected high in the air to the far side by Mishner. Stolen away by Alex Miller. That's the third of Rose Central turnover. Here's Detweiler to the front court for the Hawks. Dribbles the right point. Lost it. Gets it back. Left wing back to Caleb Mishner. Back in the corner now. Received by Sam Wenger. Winger to the foul line, backs That's it up to the corner. The handoff to Miller, he'll be pushed to the floor. Now hey. call to Lane Dimchak. I'll tell you what, what a great matchup between Detweiler and Allen. Two like athletes, very quick, very agile. Just great, great matchup. Stay tuned tonight for High School Scoreboard on WKLN. It's brought to you tonight by Rodi's Ajgay. Broken Style reporting on the area tournament scores for you all the way until midnight. Highland basketball, Nick Wigan is out there. Sammy Detweiler, also Logan Hersberger and Kayla Mishler as well as Sam Winger. Detweiler out top, 9-4 Hawks. Dribbles it right wing. Picks it up, looking. Shovels it out top to Hershberger. Right side back to Detweiler. 
Dribbles it to the foul line, to the lane. Fadeaway jumper by Detweiler up in the air, gonna be back in. Oh, nice little penetration shot, Sammy Detweiler. Got the bounce, five points for Detweiler, 11 for Hawks. Seminoles basketball, on the right side, goes to Farnsworth. Back out top, drive by Cooper now, lost it, grabs it again in the corner. Dribbles it to the baseline, cross court pass left side, three-quarter by, gonna be knocked down by Caden Silva. Silva off the bench, drills it from three. 11-7, Highland Elk, a four-point advantage. Here's Sammy Detweiler across midcourt. Has it out top, down to the foul line. Backs it up to the right side, chased down by Kayla Mishler. He'll pick it up too soon. Lifts it out top, here's Wingard at center circle for the Hawks. Dribbles it out top, crossover to the foul line, juggles it to the corner to Detweiler. His three-pointer gonna be no good. Rebound. Grabbed by Cooper Howe. Howe on the fast break. Drive to the lane. Both close a foul called on Logan Hershberger. It's not a bad foul. I believe it's going to be on the floor. I have to take the ball out of bounds. First team foul on the Hawks. Alex Miller will check back in. After the game, we'll be announcing the Six Bunnies player of the game, offering design styles both traditional and glitter. Find them on the web at sixbunnies.com or also on Facebook and Instagram. Seminoles to inbound it. They'll do so to Tucker Howe. Howe to the corner and goes out of bounds. That's a turnover and they're four. I believe they got him on a double dribble. Good active hands by the Highland defense right there. Hawks will have it. 2.49 to play in the first quarter. Highland ball and a four point lead. Alex Miller across spin court guarded by Farnsworth. Has it center circle. Miller shovels it right wing now to Hershberger to the foul line. Left wing to Detweiler. Picks it up. Back to Kayla Mishler. Cross court pass, right side Alex Miller. Miller to the foul line, to the lane. Spins around in traffic. Nowhere to go with it and throws it away. And then a foul called after the turnover on the Hawks. And then it'll be their second team foul. And Highland has their first turnover. That foul going to be slapped on Zeke Boddicker. Fulker pressure is on. In and to Corbin Farnsworth, the six foot one freshman. Has it across midcourt. Comes to a jump stop. Out top, guarded by Hirschberger and past left wing. Three-quarter no. Drive by Silva. Dumps it inside. Here's a shot in the air by Cooper Howe. That's no good. Rebound by Chance Allen. Back out top to Cooper Howe. Left point, Farnsworth. Dribbles it, picks it up. The handoff to Tucker Howe now. Howe to the foul line, to the lane. And shot no good. What's going to be the call? I believe a jump ball. Arrow does point to Highland. So that'll be the fifth turnover on the row central. Well, I tell you, uh, Tucker Howe, when he goes to the hole, he puts his shoulder down. He's got very, very strong with the ball, and he's really crafty with the ball as well. He is. Game in, averaging 19 and a half a game and 10 and a half rebounds. Highland basketball, 11 to 7 lead. Two minutes to go in the first quarter. Here's Wigdon out time. On the left wing, Caleb Mishler dribbles it. Right point back to Sammy Detweiler. Detweiler to the foul line. Into the corner, deflected, grabbed out top by Zeke Boniker. Now to Alex Miller on the left wing to Detweiler. Dribbles it to the foul line, to the lane. Shot in traffic, going to be no good. Rebound pulled down by Cooper Howe. Into the front court, tracked down now by Tyler Whitaker to the baseline. Layup going to be no good. A charge just called as he ran in to Alex Miller. That's what it takes. That's what it takes right now. Sacrifice your body in order to get a possession. Next possession right there. Great job by Alex Miller. Great shot getting back in transition. That's the sixth turnover on the Seminoles as well. One for Highland. Yeah, that looked like it hurt a little bit. I'd say. One and a half to play first quarter. Still 11 to seven Hawks. Light full for pressure on by the Seminoles. Inbounded to Alex Miller. Miller dribbles it across the midcourt line. Guarded by Farnsworth. Has a center circle around the right point to Nick Wigdon. Al top to Detweiler. Dribbles it, Detweiler to the lane. And shot up in the air, gonna be no good. Rebound, grab by Sam Wigdon, however. Highland basketball on the right wing. Goes to Mishler, his three point is gonna be knocked down. Caleb Mishler, that's what he does best. Boy, he comes in and he's able to score whenever he needs to. His first points of the game, 14-7 Hawks. Seminoles basketball, Farnsworth for the quarter to Allen. Back out top, proceed now by Whitaker. Here's pass, goes over to Jacob Vogel. On the right wing, grab by Farnsworth. The handoff to Tucker Howe. Howe out top. Back in the left corner to Allen. Allen holds onto it. Dribbles it, whips it out top. Farnsworth, back to by Dillard, but grabbed by Allen. Allen to the left wing, spins around to the lane. 
And what? Going to be a foul called on the floor. The third team foul on the Hawks. Well, I guess we're going to give him two on that one. It'll be Kayla Mishler. His uh, first personal foul. And the Deed are going to go ahead and give him the free throws. It'll be at the foul line. Chance Allen, 6'3", junior guard, averaging 10 and a half a game, five and a half rebounds, 55% free throw shooter. Allen lines it up. Free throws up in the air, going to be good. His first point. Gooder Family Roofing and Spouting, serving you for the past 25 years. Located in Millersburg and serving these surrounding areas. Call or text 330-695-3000 for your roofing and spouting needs. Second free throw by Allen's up in the air, going to be good as well. 14 to 9 Hawks, they have the ball. Alex Miller, 35 seconds to play in the first quarter. Miller to the front court, center circle, he has it. And working against Jacob Fogel. Down the 24 seconds. Miller takes it outside. Pass in the hands of Mishler at center circle. 18 seconds to go in the quarter. Down to Detweiler, high on the right side. Gets the hand off to Alex Miller, 13 seconds. Now down to 10. Miller out top, nine seconds. Pass right of the foul line, Winger. Winger, out top, Detweiler, cut off. From the left wing to Winger, his three-pointers up there, gonna be no good. Rebound put back, gonna be no good by Winger, was blocked. And that'll do it here for the first quarter. At the end of one, Highland 14 and the Rose Central 9. This is District Championship Basketball on WKLM. It takes 165 employees producing 13 million board feet of lumber a year. It takes a philosophy designed to provide the best possible product, excellent service, and follow-up at a reasonable price. And it takes a commitment to upgrade equipment and facilities to meet their customers' needs. All this and so much more happens right here in Holmes County at Yoder Lumber. When building their masterpiece, contractors, do-it-yourselfers, and homeowners turn to Yoder Lumber. Yoder Lumber Company. The tradition continues. Stop cleaning your gutters. Get Gutter Bonnet and ABC Seamless Gutters, and your gutters will stay clog-free, guaranteed, or we'll clean your gutters free. Hi, this is Lauren Miller with Miller Custom Exteriors. Our gutters are 33% larger to prevent overflow, and our leaf protection keeps out leaves and debris. It's the perfect combination to keep your gutters worry-free. Call Miller Custom Exteriors today and say goodbye to cleaning your gutters. Visit us online at MillerCustomExteriors.com. Seminoles basketball to begin the second quarter. On the left wing, Chance Allen dribbles it to the foul line. His pass deflected out of bounds will be uh, Monroe Central basketball. First quarter numbers courtesy of Don Hall. Highland two for four on three-point tries for 50% shooting. Monroe Central one for one. The Hawks were four for seven from two-point range, 57%. The Seminoles two of four for 50%. It'll be Seminoles basketball. Three-pointer up in the air going to be no good by Cooper Howe. Rebound to the four. Good after grab by Sam Langer. Highland basketball. Here's Alex Miller, pass inside, grabbed. Layup gonna be no good by C.J. Gunner, put back no good by Alex Miller. Rebound Tucker Howe. Howe on the fast break, to the foul line. Back to the right wing, Cooper Howe. Now to the foul line, back out top. Received now by Pardon. His pass who's out top to Tucker Howe. Howe on the right side. Dribbles it out top. Howe surveys the defense. His pass to Chance Howe on top of the key. He'll back it up. On the right wing, Tucker Howe again. Hal guarded tightly by C.G. Yoder, drive to the lane. His layup up in the air, knocked down. Boy, just a fine-looking player, Tucker Howe is. He has four, 14 to 11 Hawks. Highland ball just into the second quarter. Here's Alex Miller with the basketball. At the top of the key, now the right wing, Logan Hershberger to the foul line. Hershberger picks it up. Pass left wing, Nick Wigdon. Wigdon, three-pointers up in the air, going to be in and out, no good. Rebound, poke loose. Chase down by C.J. Yoder. Now to Wigdon. Wigdon to the basket. His layup is going to be good. Uh, second chance points, just courtesy of C.J. Yoder. Four points, Nick Wigdon. Highland up 16 to 11. The Rose Central basketball. Here's Tucker Howe. Howe top. Howe. Gets a pass off to Dylan Parton. Parton to the foul line. Back out top, Dimshack, and he saves it up. Hit the cross half court. There's the violation. Also in the first quarter, Maroon Central two for two for the foul line. Highland did not attempt the foul shot. The Seminoles that rebounded the Hawks four to three, and six turnovers for Maroon Central, one for Highland in that first quarter of play. Highland with the ball at side court. They have a 16 to 11 advantage. Six and a half to play, second quarter. Embedded by Wigdon to Sammy Detweiler, who calls out the play. Detweiler guarded by Chance Allen. 
Bounce pass, right on the foul line. Go Winger, back to Sammy Detweiler to the corner. Al top Winger, Winger to the foul circle. Gets the handoff, here's Nick Wigden on the right point. That's it, back to Sam Winger. Three pointer by Winger, up in the air, gonna be knocked down. Boy, nice shot, Sam Winger. Didn't hesitate, turned and look, nailed it. He has five, 19 to 11, Highland has the lead. The Rose Central basketball, here's Chance Allen to the foul line, to the lane. His shot up gonna be good. Foul and count the bucket, I do believe. Chance Allen, a chance for a three-point play at the foul line. Boy, very athletic move and finish by Chance Allen. He has four points, his first field goal. First team foul on Highland, second personal also on Hershberger. So now Caleb Mischer checks in for Logan Hershberger. Ch chance Allen currently two of two from the free throw line. Allen, 6'3", junior. And we'll receive the basketball from the official. That free throws up in the air, gonna be no good rebound. Knocked in and picked up by Nick Wigdon. Wigdon's pass stolen away by Tucker Howe, however. Highland has the turnover, they're second. Howe spins around to the lane in traffic as Lamp is gonna be no good. Rebound to the floor again. Fought after, gonna be a tie it up, a held ball area. Arrow does point to Highland, so they'll have the ball. Secure your personal team's future both on and off the court with reliable home, life, and auto insurance through Troy Middle Agency, a Wayne Insurance Group agent. Good luck to the hometown Highland Hawks basketball team in this year's tournament. Checking out the four here. Make sure there's no wet spots. It'll be checking in now for Monroe Central. Caden Silva, 5'7", sophomore, replacing Jacob Vogel. 19-13 Hawks, 5-41 to play, second quarter. Fulker pressure is on. In batting for Highland's Sammy Detweiler, who has it in the backcourt. Five and a half to play in the half. Into the front court goes to Nick Wigdon. Left wing, Caleb Mishler. Out top to Wigdon. Dribbles it to the foul line. In traffic. Pass inside. Going to be grabbed by Wig Winger somehow. Pull out the pro close. Those stored away by Tucker Howe. Third turbo on Highland. Howell's pass inside. Goes to Allen. Crosser pass to Silva. Silva to the baseline. Goes out of bounds. Turnover number eight now on the road central. I mean, this is the tempo that Monroe Central really thrives in. They just gotta just make better decisions, better passes. Pressure is on. Dribbled by Alex Miller across midcourt. Has it center circle. Silva hanging on him. No foul. Miller now kicks a left wing back to Mishler. Mishler to the foul line. Right point to Sam Winger. Drive, lane. If they have off the glass and good. Oh, fantastic finish by Sam Winger. Used the basket to shield the player. What Defense a first player. half by Winger. He has seven. 21-13 Hawks. Simmons basketball inside Allen. Allen under the basket. His layup up in the air going to be banked in. Fadeaway jumper inside. Chance Allen has six. 21-15 Hawks. Four and a half to go in the second quarter. Highland ball. Alex Miller's pass in the front court to Detweiler. He'll dribble to the foul line to the lane. Has it knocked loose inside the winger. In traffic. Left corner to Mishler. His three-pointer is going to be no good. Rebound. Corral by Tucker Howe. Long pass to the front court to Cooper Howe. To the lane, his shot off balance, no good. Rebound pulled down by Alex Miller. Miller across mid court for the Hawks. In transition, drive to lane. Skew pass goes right wing to Sam Winger. Drive, lane, head fake. Shot by Winger, open the air, knocks it down again. Oh, oh, oh. Wow, Sam's feeling it right now. He has nine, seven in the second quarter. 23-15 Hawks. Seminole's basketball. Left leg out of bounds on the pass by Tucker Howe for a right turnover. There's a little saying, you go out and you play so hard, as hard as you can until it hurts. Right now, you can see the hurt in Sam Wanger's face, but I think he loves it. I really do. He's doing it. And the Hawks have it. Inbounded to Sammy Detweiler. Highland an eight-point lead. Under four minutes to play in the half. Detweiler to the front court. Dribbles at right wing. Detweiler backs it up now to the foul line, to the lane. His shot blocked, but he'll be fouled. A little hesitation move. Detweiler draws the foul. Well, that's not a hesitation move. That's what it does. It gets the defense to react just for one split second. Sammy got around, and this is going to be Highland's first chance at the charity stripe today. First team foul on the Seminoles, and they call that foul on Cooper Howe. That's his first personal foul. Sammy Detweiler at the foul line. Lines it up, and it's going to be no good on the first attempt. 81% free throw share during the postseason. He's averaging 18 points a game and three and a half rebounds during postseason play. Stay tuned tonight for High School Scoreboard brought to you by Brody's IGA. 
Second free throw by Detweiler's up in the air, gonna be good. He has six first half points. 24-15 Highland. Focal pressure is on, inbounded to Cooper Howe. Howe dribbles at three quarters court, now across the half court line. Left wing pass goes to Chance Allen. Three and a half to go, second quarter. Here's Farnsworth, back to Allen. Allen in the corner, crossover to the baseline. Allen, layup gonna be off the glass and good. Boy, good strong move by Allen. He has eight points, six in the quarter. 24-17 Hawks, they had the ball. Here's Sammy Detweiler. Dribbles it in to the front court. Guarded by Chance Allen on the left wing. Pass goes to Alex Miller. Out top to Mishler, right wing Detweiler. Drive to the baseline, Detweiler has a poke loose, but a reach in foul call that time on Chance Allen, his first second team foul on the Seminoles. Yeah, good face up to the basket by Sammy. A little jab step and took him to the off, to off the dribble to the hole. Tucker Howe back in after a short rest. And replacing Cooper Howe. Sam Winger back in after a short rest, replacing Zeke Boddicker. Three minutes to play first half, Highland up by seven. And it'll be Detweiler to win it beneath the own backboard. Into the quarter to Alex Miller, dribbles it out top. Miller to the foul line. Now on the left wing. Alex Miller to the foul line, to the lane. Lost it, and going to be a reach and foul called. That'll be snapped on Tyler Whitaker. I believe they're going to give him two foul shots on this. Whitaker's second personal foul, as you mentioned, Alex Miller at the charity strike. Miller, 5'9", sophomore point guard, averaging five points per game during the tournament trail. 69% free throw shooter during the regular season. Three of six for the foul line during postseason play. That free throw is going to be no good. After the game, we'll be announcing the Six Buddies player of the game. Six Buddies, your one-stop shop for all things custom apparel. Stay up to date with our latest offerings on Facebook and Instagram. And shop online, sixmoneys.com. Six Buddies, where quality and service never go out of style. Second free throw is up, going to be... In and out, no good. Rebound, Tucker Howe. Howe across midcourt. 24-17, Hawks, Seminoles have it. Howe, pass out top to Chance Allen. His three-pointer is going to be no good. Rebound, going to be uh, pulled down by Alex Miller. Miller across midcourt for the Hawks. Down to the foul line. Miller spins around. Right corner, C.J. Yoder. His three-pointer is going to be knocked down, C.J. Yoder. I'll tell you, come off the bench and hit a three like that, that's awesome. What a spark for C.J. Yoder in the first half. 27 to 17 Hawks. Seminoles have it. Here's Chance Allen on the left wing. Pass out up. Grabbed by Jacob Vogel. Vogel on the right wing, the handoff. Received by Tucker Howe. Now Chance Allen, his pass loose left wing to Silva. His three-pointer gonna be good. Boy, Silva two for two behind the arc. Six points for him. 27-20 Highland. Two minutes to play in the second quarter. Alex Miller across midcourt. Working against Silva. His pass right side goes to Simi Detweiler. Detweiler has it high on the right side. Back here mid course, he spread the floor. Detweiler, bump, takes the right wing. Now back to the corner. Now top C.J. Yoder. His pass in the hands of Nick Wigdon. 140 to play in the half. Wigdon at center circle. Has it out top to the foul line. His shot up in the air, gonna be knocked in at the glass, Nick Wigdon. Boy, even some contact there. Good strong finish by Nick. He has six points, 29 to 20 lead for Highland. 125 to play in the half. Seminoles have it, here's Tucker Howe on the right wing. Howe top to Fogel, knocked away instead of out of bounds by Alex Miller. All right there, the steal. Uh, they're just playing so quick. I mean, this is just a very, very intense, entertaining game right now. Yes, it is. Get total service for your jewelry at the jewelry store with a free cleaning and inspection and all the repairs done right in their showroom at the jewelry store, 97 West Jackson Street in historic downtown Millersburg. Seminoles basketball. On the right wing, Lindschak, he'll get the handoff. Here's Fogel to the foul line. Out top to Chance Allen. Back on the right side, grabbed by Dimchak. Back in the corner, receive now, drive by Farnsworth to the baseline, and what? Out of bounds, or was it a foul? I think they called a foul. That'll be the second team foul on Highland coming in this second quarter of play. Called that on C.J. Yoder, his first. Alex Miller gonna check back in. And he'll replace, it looks like uh, Andrew Weaver checked in briefly, he'll be checking back in. Cooper Howe to win, man. Loves inside, Tucker Howe grabs it in traffic. His shot up in the air, gonna be knocked down, tough shot. Well, that guy can get in the air, nice little turnaround jumper as well. He has six, 
Highland with the lead, 29-22 in the basketball. 48 seconds in counting, first half. C.J. Yoder at center circle. Now to Nick Wigdon. Wigdon out near the midcourt line, 35 seconds in counting. Highland trying to get that final shot of the half. Wigdon guarded by Cooper now, the freshman. Nick Wigdon, of course, 6'3", junior averaging 12 a game during the tournament trail and five rebounds per contest during the postseason. Down to 20 seconds to go in the first half. Here's Detweiler at center circle, 15 seconds. Guarded by Chance Allen, 13 seconds. Detweiler, left wing, backs it up. Detweiler's pass to the C.J. Yoder, eight seconds. Pass out top, Alex Miller's grabs it. His pass left wing to Detweather. Drive, lane, is layup going to be good? Oh, great, great move, Sammy. Good finish. And that closes out the half with a bucket by Sammy Detweather. Halftime score from UD Local. It's Highland 31 and the Rose Central 22. Back around the recap the first half for you after this on WKLM. Beachy's Auto Care and Truck Center continues to offer the convenience of two great locations on US 62 in Weinsburg and on County Road 201 in Berlin. The Weinsburg shop will take care of heavy-duty truck and fleet customers from 7 a.m. to midnight, while the Berlin facility will repair auto and light trucks from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Contact them in Weinsburg at 359-5421 or in Berlin at 674-6970. That's Beachy's Auto Care and Truck Center in Weinsburg and Berlin. Have you experienced the difference of hometown independent pharmacy lately? If not, now is the perfect time to start. Premier Pharmacy inside Rhodes IGA is now open and accepting new patients. This is Joel Gauss from Premier Pharmacies in Berlin and Millersburg inviting you to come experience the Premier Pharmacy difference. We want to be your teammate as you navigate the complex world of healthcare, offering you consistent, fast service and always being available to answer whatever questions you may have. Call us or stop in today. We will transfer all your active prescriptions from your current pharmacy so you don't have to worry about a thing. That's why we are Premier Pharmacy, your hometown independent pharmacy. Founded in 2005, Casa de Saucy Stone has been dedicated to serving the building industry and providing distributors with stone veneer products that exceed customer expectations. The innovative, creative staff at Casa de Saucy pride themselves on developing quality and transformative products that will take your project to the next level. For more information or to join their team, visit them at www.casadesaucy.com or give them a call at 330-830-9760. Your partners at Casa de Saucy Stone like to wish all the area teams good luck down the tournament trail have you heard of seat farm tires yet we bet your neighbors have hi this is brad smucker from millersburg tire service and we have been selling this premium radial tire for over six years now if you need a good tire that's been proven in the field and on the road at a great price then seat is a tire for you just remember your abcs always buy seat when you want the best call mts reach us at 330-674-1085 and our experts will give you all the details located on the state route 39 east of mellersburg Melway Paving Company is a well-known asphalt paving contractor for homes in surrounding counties since 1964, specializing in asphalt paving, chip and seal, and seal coating. For your next paving project, call Melway Paving at 330-279-9000. Melway Paving is a proud supporter of all Holmes County athletes. Are you having ongoing issues with your flat or low slope roof? MEB Systems of Sugar Creek specializes in flat or low slope roofs and has been serving the community and beyond since 1977. Whether it's tracking down or resolving that persistent leak, you are in need of a complete roof replacement, or you have a new build, MEB Systems will strive to find the best solution for you. They believe if a job is worth doing, it's worth doing right. Call MEB Systems Incorporated today at 330-852-4333 and visit them online at mebsystems.com. MEB Systems wishes all Holmes County athletes a safe and healthy season. It is halftime at Boys Division Four District Championship Basketball from Union Local Highland, the 10th ranked team in Division Four, the two seed in the East District, Monroe Central, the eighth ranked team and number one seed. The Hawks have a nine point lead though, 31 to 22. Highland led 14 to nine in the first quarter. At one point had a nine and a run, led 14 to nine after one and the Hawks would outscore the Seminoles 17-13 in the second quarter and Highland leads at 31 to 22 at the half. 
Leading the way for Highland individually in the first half, Sam Wingard had a huge second quarter in particular as he would go one for two on three-point tries, three for three from two-point range. Wingard had nine first half points, seven of those coming in the second quarter. Also, Sammy Deltweiler going one for two from the on the yard, two for four from two-point range, one for two for the foul line. Sammy Detweiler had eight first half points. Six points also scored by Nick Wigdom and three apiece for Caleb Mischler and C.J. Yoder. Two points scored by Logan Hirschberger, running out the Highland total of 31. Former Rose Central leading the way, that was Chance Allen. Allen was 0 for 1 on three-point tries, 3 for 4 from two-point range, 2 for 3 for the foul line. Allen had eight first half points. Also, six points apiece for Tucker Howe and Caden Silva, who knocked down a pair of three for three pointers in the first half. And two points scored by Dylan Parton, writing out the Seminoles total of 22. Halftime score Highland 31, the Rose Central 22. Now for the first half team numbers, here's Don Hall. Thank you very much, Matt. From behind the arc, Highland 4 of 8, 50%. Monroe Central 2 of 4, 50%. Two-point field goals, Highland, 9 of 14, 64%. Monroe Central, 7 of 11 for 63%. Charity Stripe, Highland, 1 of 4 for 25%. Monroe Central, 2 of 3 for 66%. Total rebounds, Highland is leading that. 10 to Monroe Central's 9. Total turnovers, Highland 3, Monroe Central with 9. Individual rebounding leaders for Highland, Sam Wingard had three boards, also three rebounds apiece for Alex Miller and Nick Wigdon. And for Monroe Central, three rebounds for Tucker Howe and two boards for Cooper Howe in that first half. Highland up and on top at halftime, 31-22. And much like the, the last game, Don, Highland, a great start to this game. Absolutely. That's what they needed, uh, sort of. I don't know, they, they, they played with confidence to come out there, sort of had Monroe Central on their heels a little bit. Uh, great timeout by Monroe Central's coach to sort of gra gather his young team together. They came out, got himself a little bit of run, got back in the game, so it's been up and forth, uh, back and forth. It's uh, just a really, really intense game, very physical game. Yes, it is. We'll see what happens here in the second half. Again, the winner moves on to next Tuesday's regional semifinal against Northmore or Northside Christian. We'll take a break, come back with the second half after this on WKLM. At Mack Oil Field Service, they offer specialized trucking, water hauling, dirt work, and general oil field service in New York, Pennsylvania, West Virginia, and Ohio. They have the equipment and manpower to tackle any task handed to them. The future lies in the hands of our youth, and Mack Oil Field Service is proud to support them. Call Mack Oil Field Service for all your oil field needs at 330-674-7371. That's 330-674-7371. If you're looking for a career in custom home construction, then join the team of professionals at Weaver Custom Homes. Weaver Custom Homes and ESOP Company offers competitive salary packages, retirement benefits, paid vacation, flexible hours, and so much more. Check us out today at www.weavercustomhomes.com or give us a call at 330-264-5444. Weaver Custom Homes, providing quality custom homes for over 40 years to upgrade the exterior of your home, siding is indeed the best bang for your dollar. Hi, I'm Nevin Mass with Home Siding Contractors. We have the best siding on the market today and the low maintenance aspect of our siding is what our customers enjoy the most. Provia Siding fits that bill exactly. No frequent painting or staining with wood siding. No routine sealing like stucco. Provia Siding lasts. Check out all we have to offer at our new and improved showroom east of Millersburg and let our experienced sales team show you how affordable our products can be. Did you know that one of the nation's top hospitals was founded right here in Holmes County? It's true. Palm Marine Hospital was recently named a top 20 rural and community hospital by the National Rural Health Association. For 75 years, Palm Marine has applied the latest medical expertise to meet the unique needs of our community. And today, they continue to lead the way in reliable patient outcomes, from outpatient services to life-saving surgeries. Learn more about the many ways Palm Marine provides award-winning care right in your backyard. Visit pomeranehospital.org. Loading the kids in the car, brokering peace in the back seat, mastering the snack handoff without even looking. Why are simple things sometimes so complicated? Thankfully, with auto owners, insurance doesn't have to be one of them. We work with independent agents who keep insurance simple so you can worry about more important things like figuring out what's growing in that cup holder. That's simple human sense. Contact your local auto owner's insurance agent, Hobrin's Insurance Service, 170 South Clay Street in Millersburg. Call 1-800-340-3767. 
Are you ready to tackle home improvement with a winning team? Look no further than Wayne Door, your MVP for all things doors and windows. Score big with their championship lineup, garage doors, openers, entry and storm doors, windows, patio doors, and more. Just like a winning play, Wayne Door offers an unbeatable sales team, flawless installation, and game-changing service. Their local experts ensure you're always in the lead. Don't settle for anything less. Visit them today at WayneDoor.com or stop by their showroom and elevate with your home improvement game with the experts. Wayne Door, people you can trust since 1973. If you're looking for a creative, innovative, and affordable experience in home building, then look no further than Fingerprint Homes. At Fingerprint Homes, we've reinvented the home building experience using a technology-driven six-step process that's backed by personalized customer service at every step of the way. Check out our interactive website at www.fingerprinthomes.com or call today to schedule your appointment at 330-234-9004. At Fingerprint Homes, we're more than builders. We're your partners. Live streamed on the WKLM YouTube page, courtesy of the Claxton Communication team of Jacob Heading, who's producing tonight's live stream coverage, as well as Sean Troyer working the cameras. Go to YouTube, search WKLM Radio to find the live stream coverage for tonight's game. We're also on FM 95.3 and WKLMFM.com. Brogan Steimel back at WKLM Sports Central. Matt Quay alongside Don Hall as we begin the start of the second half for tonight's broadcast. It'll be Seminoles basketball outside court to inbound. Embedded by Dylan Parton into the front court, goes over to Cooper Howe, drive lane, his layup is going to be good. Just like that, Cal, his first two points of the game. Yeah, that's what Highland didn't want, just a straight line drive right there. Hawks have it going from right to left here in the second half of play. Alex Miller across midcourt. Highland up 31 24 to begin this third quarter. On the left corner goes to Detweiler, dribbles it now to the foul line, back out top. He'll find Alex Miller on the right point. Inside to a cutting Logan Hershberger, head fake. Gets the handoff, shot can be blocked from the shot by Winger, goes out of bounds, and that's going to be off of Highland, apparently. Lost it out of his hands, four turnover on the Hawks. And batted for the Seminoles, they'll have it with Tucker Howe. He'll take it across midcourt, going from left to right. On the right side, out of bounds, off the hands of Porter to it too soon, a 10th turnover now on the Seminoles. Yeah, that's what you just won't, don't want those empty okay. possessions as a coach right now. Island basketball. Here's Alex Miller. Has it in the front court. Guarded by Demjack. Back in the corner. Dribbled by Hershberger. Outs up. Back on the handoff to Miller. Into the corner now. Received by Sam Winger. Back to Alex Miller. Miller to the corner. To the baseline. Get the handoff. Inside Hershberger. And his pass to the corner. Do it after. And goes out of bounds. Highland going to get the ball back. The Hawks will catch a break that time. They'll have it on that far side corner. Well, I'll tell you what, both guys dope for that ball from six feet away. <laughs> I think they won it tonight, both, both teams. From the left wingers, Alex Miller drives to the baseline. He's cut off. From the left side, back over to Winger. Back out top to Detweiler. Left wing of the pass, Alex Miller. His three-pointer going to be no good. Rebound hauled in by Cooper Howe. Seminoles ball. Howe into the front court. Crossover on the left wing, Tucker Howe. Back on the right side, received by Cooper Hale. Spins around in the corner, now drive to the baseline. It's shut up in there, gonna be no good off the rim. Rebound grabbed by Logan Hershberger as he falls down. That way there's pass to the front court, Alex Miller. Miller to the baseline. Miller lost it, stolen away. Into the front court goes to Chance Allen. Allen layup off the glass and good. Allen has 10, came after the fifth Highland turnover. Their second of the quarter. Pressure is on, 31-26 Hawks. 6.05 to play third quarter. Highland basketball, Detweiler's pass front court to Wigdon. Left wing now to Logan Hershberger. Gets it out top to Wigdon. On the right wing, Alex Miller. His pass to Hershberger, left wing Detweiler. Surveys it, out top Logan Hershberger to the foul line. Back in the corner, Nick Wigdon. Wigdon to the baseline. His pass to Hershberger out top to Sam Winger. Winger to the foul line. Out right wing to Hershberger to the corner to Wigdon. His three-pointer going to be well short. Rebound goes to Cooper Howe. Seminoles ball. Howe to the front court. On the right corner. And it is another error pass. The 11th turnover. Uh, that just shows the youth of that, that the Monroe Central team right there. No doubt. And the Hawks will have it. A five-point lead for Highland. Five and a half to play in the third. Into the front court, the dribble by Alex Miller. Lobs it right wing, Hershberger, back to Alex Miller. 
Al top reverse, threw it away. Stole by Tucker Howe. Behind his back of the dribble, Howe. And what? The whistle's going to be a foul on Hershberger. I believe he's going to call it. Good foul by Hershberger. I believe yes. they're going to call it on the floor. Very good foul. His yes. third personal. Michigan will check in for Hershberger. And so will have it beneath their own backboard. John Schrock testing me, watching from Goodyear, Arizona. Go Hawks, John Schrock. Thanks for the shout out. And thanks for tuning in. Here's a drive to the baseline by Dylan Purden. Cross for a pass across the lane. Grabbed by Cooper Howe. Bakes it in and a foul. Cooper Howe, a chance for a three-point play for the freshman. That all started with Dylan Parton getting into the lane, and then and, and somebody had to go help, and actually he dished it off to Cooper Howe. Nice finish. First personal on Winger, second team foul, Highland. Free throw no good by Cooper Howe. Rebound picked up by Mishler. Highland basketball, 31-28. Detweiler on the right wing. Al top Mishler, the handoff down to Sam Winger. Winger calls out the play at center circle. Winger's bounce pass left to the foul line. Proceeding now near side. Right to the foul line, Mishler. Al top, here's Detweiler, drive to the lane. Detweiler cut off. Now to Wigden high on the right side. Back to Detweiler to the corner. Holds onto it, drives to the lane. Detweiler, cross court pass, goes to Mishler. His three pointer's going to be knocked down, Caleb Mishler. <laughs> Two or three behind the, bar, behind the arc. Good job, Caleb Mishler. On the assist by Detweiler, Mishler has six points, 34 28 Hawks. Seminoles have it. Here's Pardon. Pass out top to Dimchak. Left wing, Tucker Howe. Howe, the handoff chance Allen. Allen to the foul line, inside Tucker Howe. Contact, no foul, he'll lay it up and in. Boy, he ducked his shoulder and there's some contact there. Should have been a foul. And he has eight points in that and knocked out of bounds on the denied defense of Lane, Lane Demjak. So instead of Alex Miller to win that, they're gonna have the much taller Nick Wigdon in the ball instead. Wigdon in bounds it to Alex Miller. Highland, a 34-30 advantage. Midway point of the third quarter. Miller into the front court. Has it center circle. His pass left side, Mishler. Into the quarter to Detweather. Drive to the baseline. His lamp blocked. And a foul is going to be called. Miller call. Helen Ball. Mark Schleyball in disbelief. I believe that. I mean, yeah. Good play, though. It, it was a good play. So it was sorted out. It will be Highland basketball. Don't keep it. And it'll be Alex Miller to win down this time the deep throw him back for. Into the corner to Mishler. Out top, Sam Winger. Gets the handoff. Here's Detweiler for a three-pointer up in the air. Going to be no good. Rebound hauled in by Tucker Howe. Seminoles ball down by a four. Now to Demshack to the corner, Chance Allen. Tucker Howe left wing. Three-pointers up in the air by Howe. Going to be no good. Rebound grabbed by Sammy Detweiler. He'll have it on the fast break. Detweiler drive to the lane. Comes crashing in there. And a blocking foul is called on Demshack. Yeah, I believe that's the right call. The North Central fans don't believe so. And he was moving second personal on Demjack. First team foul on North Central and LB Detweiler will be on the floor at the foul line. I believe he's going to be at the free throw line. Currently one of two tonight from the free throw line. He'll be shooting. Simply pull in and remain in your vehicle. Let the experienced crew provide a quality, convenient oil change with no appointment needed. Southside Quick Lube. While you're there, ask about the Starbright and Limited Car Wash plan and take care of the outside of the vehicle as well. Done fast and right here back on the road. Southside Quick Lube. State now 83 in Millersburg. And first free throw good by Detweiler. He now has nine points. First point of the third quarter. Second free throw. That is up. That's going to be good. Marys and Booth. He has 10 points for the 6-1 senior, Sammy Detweiler. Highland on top, 36-30. Seminoles basketball. Tucker Howe out top. On the right wing, here's Caden Silva. Hands it off to Jacob Vogel. Right wing now to Allen. Falls down. Picked up out top by Tucker Howe, however. 3-18 to play in the third. Silva on the left point. On the right wing, Allen stole away by Sammy Detweiler. Back over to Miller, back to Detweiler. His lamp is good. Wow. Detweiler has 12, 38-30 Hawks. Here's Silva to the front court. Left wing to Fogle. Back out to Tucker Howe. His three-pointers high in the air. Going to be no good. Rebound Tucker Howe. Got his own board. And he'll be fouled after the board. And it'll be the third team foul of the Hawks. I'll tell you what. <clears throat> that, that steal by Sammy Della. That's what you're looking for from your senior out there on the court. And he is very good at that. Jumping those passes. We saw that in that last tournament game against Shadyside. First personal foul on Alex Miller. Fogle to inbound. 
His pass to Tucker Howell to the corner. Oh, Dribbles it back oh, out top. That's now stolen away again by Sammy Detweather. Detweather layup off the last, no good. Rebound by Tucker Howell. Bad break that time for the Hawks after the steal. Howell to the front court, right corner to Fogel. Fogel spins around to the baseline. His shot going to be no good. Rebound to the four out of bounds. Off of Fogel's hands, and Highland will have the ball. Team rebound for Highland. Stay tuned tonight for the high school scoreboard on WKOM. It's brought to you tonight by Rodie's IGA. I'll tell you, the freely substitution that both teams are having, nobody should be, be getting tired at the end of this game. That's the reason why it's still going to be up and down, up and down. Both teams are deep. Inbounded, grabbed by Mishler in the backcourt. Now to Winger to cross the midcourt line for the Hawks. Winger at center circle. Two and a half to play. Third quarter, Highland has an eight-point lead in the basketball. Alex Miller's pass goes to Kayla Mishler in the left point. Mishler dribbles it left wing. He'll hand it off over to Sam Winger. His pass out top to C.J. Under a three-pointer, no good. Rebound stepped out top again, and fought for it, grabbed by Wigdon. Wigdon to the baseline, pull close on the four, fought after, and strung to the basketball, what? Held ball arrow again, this time it points to the Rose Central. Highland has their seventh turnover. After the game, we'll be announcing the Six Bunnies player of the game, offering design styles of both traditional and winter. You'll never have to worry about looking good on game day. Stay up to date with their latest offerings on Facebook and Instagram and shop online at sixmoneys.com. Six Bunnies for quality and service never go out of style. Seminoles basketball. Here's the dribble across midcourt by Cooper Howe. Howe outs off. Pass left wing, Chance Allen to the foul line. Poke loose on the floor again. Dove after and... Trying to grab it, Howell does somehow, and a timeout called by Moreau Central. 149 to play in the third. Highland 38 and Moreau Central 30. This is District Championship Basketball on WKOM. Critchfield Law Firm has always been dedicated to providing the highest quality legal services to their clients throughout Holmes County and surrounding areas. Critchfield Law Firm also understands the dedication of our youth. From the classroom to the music room to athletics, Holmes County's best is represented in every academic area. Critchfield Law Firm in Millersburg, wishing all who participate the best in their endeavors. Highland has the lead here. We talked about it, Don. Both teams really want this one here tonight. It's incredible. It's like a heavyweight boxing match. Everybody's giving each other just the heaviest, quickest hits that you can. Everybody's retaliating, coming back, doing the same thing. And meanwhile, ball thrown away after the inbounds pass. Thrown by Cooper Howell. Not what they drew it up, and that'll be a big turnover there, 14. That, that's all because Highland goes out and denies that next pass and forces that guy to go back door, so he's zigging should have zagged. And the Hawks will have it as a result. Here's Alex Miller to the front court. His pass to Wigdon. Wigdon near the midcourt line. One and a half to play. Third quarter, Highland has the basketball. Wigdon to the foul line. Wigdon to the baseline. He's cut off. Wigdon, crosser pass, threw it away. Highland has their eighth turnover. Into the front court, here's Jacob Fogel. Pass out top. Into the hands of Tucker Howe. The handoff to Fogel. His three quarters up in the air are going to be no good. Rebound pulled down by Kayla Mishler. Now to Detweather, he'll cross midcourt. His pass inside to Alex Miller, his layup is going to be good. Well, that's a way to put the ball down the court and finish. Well, a look by Detweather. Alex Miller being, meanwhile, his first two points of the game. 40 to 30, Highland. And Seminoles basketball, three-pointer by Fogel, going to be off the mark. Rebound out of bounds off of Sealy Detweather's hands. And it'll be checking in now Maroon Central in Tyler Whitaker for Chance Allen. Under a minute to play, third quarter. Highland a 10-point lead. And Hal looking to inbound. Everybody open. There's the five-second violation. Another big turnover to the 15. Yeah, well, I, I, once I, I think I said this Tuesday night at Buckeye Trail, I, I'll guarantee you that's on the bulletin board in there. You get a five-second count. And they got it. All right, the Hawks will have it. 50 seconds and counting, third quarter. Alex Miller into the front court. Two points for Miller on the night, and that last basket he got in this third quarter. Detweiler high on the right side, dribbles it to the foul line. His shot from the 15 feet away, going to be no good. Rebound to the four, is chased down again. Alex Miller, who got it. Hawks have it again on the offensive board. 30 seconds to go. Here's Detweiler at center circle, and a little too tight on that defense, says the official. That foul on Whitaker, that'll be his third. 
Yeah, I'm just, this is a guy that had, had zero fouls. Uh, not a bad foul. Just trying to maybe get cause a little contact there and get the ball. Uh, still got one foul to waste. Monroe Central does. Third team foul, and it'll be inbounded by Wigdon to Alex Miller. 20 seconds to go in third quarter. Highland again, that 10-point advantage. Miller at center circle, 15 seconds. Now down the 12. Miller, bounce pass, winger, right of the foul line. Picks it up, out top to Alex Miller, seven seconds. Down to Detweather, bumped and he'll be fouled. There's the call. They'll be reaching on Dylan Parton with five seconds to go in the third quarter. Once again, not a bad foul right there. Ball's got to be taken out of bounds now. Still got five seconds, plenty of time to run a set play. Parted his first. Inbounded out top to Winger. Dribbles it. Now to Alex Miller. Two seconds, three pointer to Miller from the midcourt line. Going to be no good to close out the third quarter of play. At the end of three, Highland 40 and the Rose Central 30. This is District Championship Basketball on WKLM. The professionals at Troyer Signs takes pride in creating quality signs and vehicle graphics. With 43 years of experience, they know how to advertise your business. So stop by and see them at 2740 South Honeytown Road in Worcester. You can visit them online at www.troyersigns.com. Follow them on Facebook or give them a call at 330-263-1400. Troyer Signs wishes all our area teams good luck down the tournament trail. Are you ready to accelerate towards your dreams with a new car, ATV, boat, or some extra cash for personal needs? This is Zach Deidinger, a banking center manager at the Commercial and Savings Bank, here to help you fund your next adventure. Our team of experts is committed to finding the right solution for you with competitive rates, flexible terms, and personalized service. Visit csb1.com to apply online or give us a call at 800-654-9015 to speak with a loan specialist and discover the CSB advantage. The Commercial and Savings Bank. Relationships you can bank on. Member FDIC. Monroe Central 9-8 in the third quarter. Third quarter numbers courtesy of Don Hall. We'll get to those momentarily. Highland has it to begin the fourth quarter of play. Alex Miller has it out top. His pass goes to Sam Winger. Winger picks it up. Now to Alex Miller on the right wing. Out top to Detweather. Dribbles it. Drive. Lane. His shot going to be uh, blocked. A foul is called. A little change direction on that uh, tinted block by Chance Allen. Well, that was good block, but he had his hand on Sammy's uh, shoulder. A lot of the fans couldn't see that. Second personal foul, first team foul on the Seminoles, and Detweather is at the foul line. Third quarter again in courtesy of Don Hall, where Highland is 1 of 5 on three pointers. The Rose Central 0 for 4. The Hawks 2 for 4 from two point range. The Rose Central is 4 for 5. Highland 2 for 2 from the foul line. The Seminoles 0 for 1. Highland a rebound in Rose Central 7 to 6. And five turnovers for the Hawks, six for the Seminoles in the third quarter of play. Both three throws are good by Sammy Detweather, meanwhile. He has 14 points. Highland up by 12 right now, early in the fourth. Here's Demchak inside to Tucker Howe, and going to be a foul call. Going to call that on Highland. They thought it was pushing off on Howe, but instead it'll be on Logan Hershberger. First team foul on Highland in the fourth, and Hershberger has his fourth personal foul, and he'll check out. Kalen Mishler checks in. Highland 42, Monroe Central 30, early in the fourth. Winner moves on to Tuesday's regional semifinals at the Convo. Into the corner, Tucker Howe on the receiving pass. Howe to the baseline. And blocking foul call on Sam Winger. Second team foul, Highland Winger has his second. Well, it's been a physical game all game, and now they're starting to call a little two-hand touch. All of a sudden. And out of windbound the basketball will be Cooper Howe. Lobs it inside, going to be thrown away. There's a steal, Alex Miller on the fast break. Goes to Wigman, his layup going to be no good. Rebound by Alex Miller. He was undercut, and he didn't call the foul. Out top to Sammy Deltweiler. Backs it up near midcourt. Deltweiler lobs it high on the right side on the hands of Mishler. Mishler, pass near side to Deltweiler as he spread the floor. Deltweiler left wing. Backs it up. Working against Chance Allen. His pass down to Mishler, high on the right side. Back to Alex Miller, right wing. Miller, drive, and has a step on his defender, Lane Demchak. He'll get called for the foul. Second team foul on the Rose Central. Demchak has his third. Well, I tell you what, to be out there right now, you better be able to handle the ball. Without question. Fox will have a one minute into the fourth quarter. They have a 12-point lead. 
Miller to inbound to the corner to Mishler. Dribbles it high on the right side. Put it tightly by Hal. Hal top. Dick Wigden. His three pointer is going to be no good. Rebound grabbed by Winger. Another offensive board. He'll have a tight up though after that. They're going to call a foul. Well, the foul is dead on the Seminoles. They're a 13 foul of the corner. And that's going to be another foul on Demjack, his fourth personal. So Hawks will have it again. Stay tuned tonight for High School Scoreboard on WKLM. It's brought to you by Rhodey's IGA. Embedded out top to Sam Winger. Left wing pass goes to Simi Detweiler. Has it center circle. Tight defense by Chance Allen. Drive. Runner. Pass across the lane. Grabbed by Winger. To the corner to Mishler. Mishler's three pointer score. <laughs> three or four behind the bark. Behind the arc for Caleb Mishler. Nine points for Mishler. High up by 15. Drive. Shot by Cooper Allen. That'll be blocked, but a foul is called as Hal attacking that basket and foul called inside on Alex Miller. It must have been the grab on the way in because that was a charge if yes. they didn't. That's what Alex Miller is saying. And they're going to call that. Yeah, they're going to call that on uh, Wigdon, it looks like, instead of Miller. First personal on Nick Wigdon. Cooper Howe, zero of one from the charity strike tonight. Free throw up is going to be. No good. Don't let your home be a foul power. Call Holmesville Electric, your local Generac automatic standby generator dealer. Holmesville Electric has factory certified technicians and carries a full line of parts and service kits for all your Generac needs. Call 330-279-4522. Wiping a spot off on the floor. Highland going for their eighth consecutive district championship if they can hold on and get this win tonight. Cooper Howe. Has four points on two baskets in the third quarter. That free throw is good. Five points for Cooper Howe. 45-31 Hawks. Highland ball. Alex Miller across midcourt. Working against Lane Dimchak. Pass right wing goes to Winger. Back to Alex Miller. Miller crossover. Backs it up. Out top to Winger. To Detweather to the corner of Mishler. Mishler to the baseline. His layup high off the last. No good. Rebound saved by Winger. And Hyland has it again. Alex Miller to the corner of Wigdon. Wigdon to the foul line. To the lane. Shot by Wigdon up in the air. Going to be good. Got the bounce. Oh, got the bounce. Good penetration. Nice shot by Wigdon. Wigdon has eight. 47 31 Highland. Seminoles basketball. 5 45 to play. Drive by Hal. Three-pointer for the right quarter for the air. Going to be no good by Demchak. Rebound, Nick Wigdon has a poke close to steal. Shot up, going to be knocked down by Dylan Pardon. And timeout called, five and a half to go. Highland 47, the Rose Central 33. This is Fisher Championship Basketball on WKOM. It's time to clear out the old, and you can get a great deal now. With new models arriving daily, Millersburg Electric must make room. Get big savings on over 50 closeout and floor display models. Gas and electric ranges, laundry products, refrigerators, dishwashers, and much more. From all the popular brands, including GE, Cafe, Frigidaire, and more. Don't delay as the inventory goes down each day. So hurry in for big savings. Millersburg Electric on State Route 83 South in Millersburg. Or 24-7 at Millersburg Electric. Com. After the game, we'll be announcing the Six Bunnies player of the game. Known for their super soft style, Six Bunnies can outfit your entire family for any sporting event. Stay up to date with their latest offerings on Facebook and Instagram and shop online at SixBunnies.com. Six Bunnies, where quality and service never go out of style. Highland has that 14-point advantage, and the win battle will be Nick Wigdon out of the timeout against that full-court pressure of Monroe Central. Wigdon, baseball pass, front court, goes to Alex Miller, he'll break free, his layup is going to be good. Wow, nice nice execution by Highland. Do it over the top of that press, and now Miller has four points, his second basket tonight. Highland up 49-33. Here's Tucker Howe, shot in track by Howe, going to be good. Got Boy, the net. that was a tough shot, and he was able to finish that. Ten points, Tucker Howe, 49-35 Highland. In Baden, grabbed by Alex Miller. Miller, pass goes front court to Detweiler, too long, and goes out of bounds. Highland with that turnover, and that'll be their 10th of the night. Yeah, they've been able to control the tempo most of the time tonight, so and they're playing hard and everything, but they need to play really, really smart right now. Cherish every possession. 5.05 to go. McCoy alongside Don Hall for the broadcast this evening. Here's Tucker Howe on the right wing. Gets the handoff. Pardon, dry, lane, off the glass, and good. Dylan Pardon has six, 49-37 Hawks. Now a 12-point advantage. Alex Miller on the backcourt. 
Working against Dimchak. Miller across midcourt to the left wing. Pass near side to Nick Wigdon. Wigdon drive, lane, has a poke loose, and a bounds. It'll stay with Highland. Checking in going to be Logan Hershberger. Replaces Kayla Mishler. Yeah, right now is where you got to be extremely fundamental, especially from that, like, like pivot on every time, beat, beat, ripping the ball through. Be smart and embedded by Hershberger now to the corner, grabbed by Alex Miller. Miller dribbles the top of the key. Down to the foul line, to the lane. Shot left hand by Miller, that's no good. Rebound to the fourth, grabbed again by Nick Wigdon. And Highland another offensive rebound. The dribble now by Sammy Detweiler. Takes it left wing, shovels it out top now to Alex Miller. Miller shovels the right wing, now Logan Hershberger dribbles it out top. Picks it up and gets called for traveling. A little contact, but he called the travel instead. I, I had a lot of contact there, a lot of contact. The 11th turnover on Highland tonight. Timeout called, 4-10 to play, 49-37 Hawks. This is District Championship Basketball on WKOM. If it's time for your business to expand, then your project deserves a proven design and construction firm known for keeping their word. And that's the design construction professionals at Weaver Commercial Contractors. Offering architectural design and drafting, general contracting, pre-construction services, budget consultation, and more. But don't take my word for it. Check us out today at WeaverCC.com and see what others are saying about Weaver Commercial Contractors. Give us a call today at 330-264-9020 or check us out in person at 172 Old Lincoln Way in Dalton. Weaver Commercial Contractors build on solid relationships. Winner moves on to the regional semifinals next Tuesday. You talked about Don. You have to be strong for the basketball, so they're going to not going to let it go here a little bit down the stretch. Especially as physical as it's been. It'll be Seminoles basketball. Here's the spin move into the paint. Shot by Parton up in the air. No good. Rebound grab. Actually out of bounds. Off the hands of Alex Miller. And yeah, they're going to keep it here at the Rose Central. Midway point of the fourth quarter. The Rose Central basketball, they're down by 12. And bat of the quarter, grabbed by Tucker Howe. Howe to the baseline. Howe shot in traffic, no good. Rebound put back by Howe, is good. Tucker Howe, second effort, he has 12. Highland now a 10-point lead, 49-39. to 39. Alex Miller now to the front court. His pass to Detweiler, high on the right. Poke loose, Detweiler will track it back down. Detweiler out top. Dribbles it on the right point. Finds Wigdon. Wigdon back over to Detweiler to the corner. Pass out top, goes to Alex Miller. Three and a half to go. Miller into the corner now. Drive by Wigdon to the baseline. Dumps it inside, goes to Sam Langer. Right wing now to Logan Hersberger. Highland will reset it back in the left wing. Here's Alex Miller to the foul line. Lane. Pass inside to Hershberger. He'll back it up to the corner. His pass out top, deflected, and grabbed by Detweather. Was deflected, though, by the Rose Central. Three minutes to go. Now to Alex Miller, high on the left. Spins around. Highland playing keep away right now. Drive, Miller to the baseline. Pass out top, going to be chased down by Hershberger. Now to Winger to the corner. 2.51 to go, still no foul. Winger back to Detweather in front of the midcourt line. That one, a foul line, Lane, pass inside, into the corner, back by Hershberger once again. Now top to Alex Miller, two and a half to go. Miller, dry, Lane, pull close, and out of bounds. Highland will keep the ball again. Yeah, right there is, what, is a good example or a little bit earlier where you've got to go meet that pass. Yes, no doubt. Otherwise, that would have been a turnover yes. for sure. 2.34 to go. Highland hanging on to a 10-point lead, 49-39. to 39. The Seminoles with some fresh legs in there now. And batted to Detweiler on the right wing. Go back it up near the midcourt line. Detweiler has it out top. Still with it. Picks it up. He'll find Alex Miller. Miller jabs, step, dribbles the right wing. Miller's pass into the hands of Logan Hershberger. Hershberger to the foul line, to the lane, inside to Wingard. His pass cross-court, Detweiler. Back out top, here's Alex Miller. And Highland still keeps it. 
Miller, drive, lane, layup. Off the going to be no good, but he goes a foul on the drive. Alex Miller. Uh, a good, good drive by Alex. Might have wanted to just use that left hand right there, but anyways, he's going to go to the charity stripe for two. Fourth team foul in the fourth quarter for Monroe Central. First personal foul on Keenan Silva. Alex Miller is at the charity stripe. Currently zero of two today. This free throws up. That's going to be good. Five points for Alex Miller. That's what you need from your point guard. Your sophomore point guard go up there and just calmly make those free throws. Make it when it counts. Highland back up to an 11-point lead. He has one more free throw to go. That is up. That's going to be good. Marries them both. 51-39 Hawks. Monroe Central basketball. Tucker Howell to the front court. Howell to the foul line, to the lane. Outbound shot by Howell. That's no good. Bring put back by Chance Allen. No good. Rebound Tucker Howell again. Inside to Allen. His lamp is good. Chance Allen has 12. 51-41 Highland. Pressure on in meta to Sammy Deltweiler. He'll dribble it. 145 to play. Deltweiler across the midcourt line. 140 to play in the fourth. Detweiler passes over to Logan Hersberger. Hersberger now high on the right. Hesitation now picks it up. Out top to Alex Miller. Back to Hersberger. Backs it up to the right wing. Back to Alex Miller. 128 and counting. Still no foul. Miller gets the handoff down to Detweiler. 120 to go. Detweiler now to the foul line. Can be bumped. There's a foul. A hip check by Tucker Howe. They'll send Detweiler to the foul line. 15 fouls, a double bonus. Boy, Sammy's still down. Yeah. I think he might have knocked the wind out of him, possibly. Tucker Howell, see a strong guy up there. That's his first personal foul. Deltweiler is on his feet now, but as you mentioned, he fell that one. Yeah, I don't think anybody called a timeout, so. Yeah. Some of those walked away. Now we're ready to go. And Deltweiler walks it off. He'll step to the charity stripe. Highland came in at 19 and 6, the two seed and 10th ranked team in Division 4. Monroe Central, 23 and 1, the most wins in school history. Free throw is good by Detweiler. Ranked eighth in Division 4, their first trip ever in school history to the district finals, but right now Highland has an 11 point lead. Second free throw by Detweiler, that's going to be good as well. Makes them both. Highland up 53 41, timeout call with 117 to play. This is District Championship Basketball on WKLM. Everyone knows that Mellersburg Tire Service sells a lot of farm tires like BKT, Seat, Firestone, Michelin, Titan, Galaxy, D-Stone, and Lions. Hi, this is Brad Smucker from Mellersburg Tire Service, and we also sold over 10,000 heavy-duty truck tires last year in 29 different brands. We can mount them in our truck bay, or we can drop them off. If it runs on tires, Mellersburg Tire Service has it, or we can get it from the many suppliers that we have available. Plus, we sell tires in Ohio and all the surrounding states. When you want the best, call Mellersburg Tire Service service at 330-674-1085 and talk to one of our knowledgeable sales staff. With 117 to go and I kind of believe there's going to be some more fouls here down the stretch. Yeah, yeah, it might be a free throw shooting contest to finish this last 117, but uh, right now all Highland's concerned about is going down and getting a stop right here and what Monroe Central wants to do is go down and score somehow, some way, maybe cause, call a timeout and get into a press and, and then make that free throw shooting contest. Rose Central basketball out of the timeout. Here is Cooper Howell to the front court. He'll find Fogel, who spins around out top. Fogel picks it up, looking. Pass left wing goes to Tucker Howell. Howell, three-pointer up in the air, going to be no good. Rebound, grabbed by Allen. Poke close, and a foul is called on Sammy Detweiler. 14 foul Highland. Detweiler, his first personal foul. That's the foul that they can give. One more now. They're going to be shooting two. Sit down, White. One minute to go. Highland up 53-41 in the district championship Bob, game. Bob, Sammy, Sammy. Cooper Howell to inbound. Into the corner, goes over to Silva. His three-pointer is going to be no good. Rebound to Cooper Howell. He'll be fouled inside, hacked to the arm, and that'll send him to the foul line. 15 foul on the Hawks now to the foul line is Cooper Howell. Cooper Howell currently one for three from the charity stripe. And Logan Hersberger will foul out with 50 seconds to, to play. First for Earth, Al's out with two points this evening. Kayla Mishler will check back in. Cooper Howe has five points. Two-hand absolute shoves on those rebounds. Those were impossible rebounds. 
Free throw up gonna be good. One more possible rebound. rebound. If Highland does indeed hang on, we will be interviewing Mark Stabo in the postgame show, so stay tuned for that. If Highland does indeed get this victory, that second free throw good as well by Cooper Hill. He has six, 53-43 Highland. Poker pressure on, here's Wigdon in the backcourt. His pass to Winger at three-quarters court, and he'll be fouled by Tucker Howe. Howe has a second personal. Now Winger to the foul line for the double bonus. Yes, need to go down, just capitalize his score here. Sam Winger, nine points. Got all of that in the huge first half that he had. He's also got some big offensive rebounds this evening. Winger lines it up, and that's going to be no good on the first attempt. Winger, 67% free throw shooter during the regular season. Six-foot junior guard averaging four points per game and two rebounds per contest during the postseason. That free throw is up, going to be good. Splits a pair. Winger has 10. And 49.6 seconds to go. 54-43 Hawks. And Tucker Howe, check it out. And also out will be a Chance Allen, it looks like. In the central, putting their seniors in there. Cooper Howe across midcourt. Spins around, gets the handoff. The dribble now by Wesley Locke. Three-pointer by Locke, no good. Rebound goes to Nick Wigdon. 35 seconds. Highland going to get this win. Final 30 seconds for the Hawks. A lot going against him this season. He still find a way. Nick Wigdon dribbling out this clock. It's the will to win. The will to win. Excellent coaching job, Coach Slayball and staff. Nobody better. Stay tuned. We'll be speaking with Highland head coach Mark Slayball on the postgame show. Final five seconds. Highland wins the district championship. 54-43. They defeat the Rose Central Knight at Union Local. Back with more Slayball after this on WKLM. A single family home located at 2735 Township Road 444 in Walnut Creek is listed for sale by Kaufman Realty and Auctions with an asking price of $399,000. This property was built in 1938 and has six bedrooms and three full baths with 2,925 square feet located in the East Holmes Local School District. For more information or to choose a date and time to see this property, contact Steve Mogg at 330-852-4111 or check Check it out at KaufmanRealty.com. Everywhere, every day, someone somewhere needs someone to care. Young people are especially desirous of someone to show an interest in what they do, where they are going, and what they will become. Denco Marketing of Millersburg believes taking that interest in a young person can make all the difference. Which young person needs your time and interest? Whichever one or ones you can give it to. They'll take care of the rest. Supporting young people in all endeavors is especially important to Denko Marketing of Millersburg, where the business at hand is the business of home. Founded in 2005, Casa de Saucy Stone has been dedicated to serving the building industry and providing distributors with stone veneer products that exceed customer expectations. The innovative, creative staff at Casa de Saucy pride themselves on developing quality and transformative products that will take your project to the next level. For more information or to join their team, visit them at www.casadesaucy.com or give them a call at 330-830-9760. Your partners at Casa de Saucy Stone like to wish all the area teams good luck down the tournament trail this team's dealt with a lot of adversity all season long here but they find a way how does this feel to capture this district title yeah this one uh they're they're all a little different this one's obviously really special just for our guys and uh yeah i mean we've just kind of been uh i don't know playing with a little chip on our shoulder and hey you walk in here tonight at, we're highland fans are outnumbered about five to one and and i can think our kids took that a little bit personal and, and uh you know just I mean, I just thought our kids just, just had an outstanding game, played extremely hard, and we had, it was a great team effort for our kids. Packed house, a lot of emotion tonight, and once again, your team got off to a great start. How big was that? Yeah, it was really big, and I think, you know, that, that, that's our schedule. You know, we, we play the, the second toughest schedule in the state of Ohio this year, and, and you know, that's the difference between us and Monroe Central. They, you know, their schedule is, is not as good, and, and so when you get into this game, like we told our kids before the game, this is this is Ottawa Glendorf. 
And this is what it felt like at Ottawa Glendorf. We had a little section of fans. They had a packed gym. And, and, and so we've been here before, and, and, you know, that's why we schedule those games. And, and, and our kids just, you know, they, it, it isn't always easy to play Highland basketball because we put them in tough situations throughout the year. But then a night like tonight, it's worth it. You mentioned a couple of keys, offensive rebounding, and also uh, taking care of the basketball. Your team, for the most part, did that tonight. Yeah, I thought our rebounding was outstanding until maybe the last minute of the game. And, uh, um, you know, early on we were a little sloppy here and there. But overall, I thought our shot selection, our patience was really good. We know the usual subsets, Mark, but how about the Sam Leger in that first half, a huge second quarter for him? Yeah, I mean, Sam, Sam was unbelievable at both ends, you know, guarding Tucker Howell and then scoring for us. You know, we got a huge spark tonight from C.J. Yoder, Caleb Mishler, and then, you know, our guys that have been here before, Nick Wigton, Alex Miller, and Sammy Dettweiler just played outstanding games. Bottom line here, Mark, you get a chance to go back to the convo. Your thoughts as you know you're going to be going back to the regionals in the convo. Yeah, I mean, we're excited. We'll start preparing here tomorrow morning, and um, yeah, I mean, it's uh, anytime you get past this game it means you're one of the best teams in the state. So you're you're excited, but you know we're we still got work to do. Mark, congratulations on the victory. All right, thank you. That's the voice of Highland head basketball coach Mark Schleyball. Highland crapshooting the district championship game tonight, and we'll be back after this with the final numbers on WKLM. Stop in all this week for these great savings at Rody's IGA. Hi, this is Scott Rody. We have boneless, skinless chicken breast, three ninety eight a pound. Boneless beef top round roast, three ninety eight a pound. And boneless beef top round steaks, four eighteen a pound. We also have thirty one to forty count cooked cocktail shrimp, fifteen ninety nine. Sixteen ounce frozen sea best salmon fillets, five ninety nine. White seedless grapes for dollar ninety eight a pound. And no waste broccoli crowns for seventy nine cents a pound. That's now through Sunday at Rody's IGA Marketplace in Millersburg. If you're looking for siding with more of an old school appeal, reminiscent of traditional sod and split cedar shakes and shingles that have been featured in American home building since the 1600s, then check out the authentic look of Provia Harborville shake and shingle siding and MRV siding supply. Modeled after hand-picked cedar pieces using highly accurate laser scanning to ensure even the finest details were carried over into each Harbor Mill shake and shingle. That's MRV Siding Supply on County Road 624 in Middlesburg. We're on the web at MRVSiding.com. Get your siding supplies from the siding guys. MRV Siding Supply. Get your vehicle back on the road smooth and problem-free with Village Motors Collision Center. Hi, this is Deke Miller, and our Collision Center works on all makes and models and has available deductible assistance, along with loaner and rental vehicles available for your use, complimentary oil change packages, not to mention that we are the preferred repair shop for most insurance companies. Ask us about our cleanup packages with four great packages from basic to premium by appointment only starting at $19.95. For collision repair, make your first stop at Village Motors in Millersburg. They capture the Division IV East District District Championship for the eighth consecutive season as they win at 54 to 43 over Moreau Central. They're finishing up the runner-up trophy here tonight. We'll go ahead and pick up uh, the championship trophy for Highland here. Presentation for them here momentarily. But uh, we had talked about uh, Don here. You think about an example of what it takes to be successful, and uh, right now when it comes down to put it simply, playing hard. We saw both teams play about as hard as you could all night long. That's what it, I mean. I, I have couple things written down here execution and you know whoever plays the hardest yeah a lot of times that's who's going to win and i'll tell you what highland just i don't care if you to put the 13th guy on there you know he's going to come in and he's going to give you everything that he has that's just the traditional thing i mean that's what highland you're expected to do that when you're on when you're a highland Hack basketball player and, and then that's what they do that is indeed a part of the expectations for sure and again for this uh the Rose Central team, a team that's pretty young and a, a great season for them, a historical season, and you got to believe they're going to be back uh, once again next year. Well, you have not heard the last of Monroe Central. I'll tell you that right now. Them and Highland, are, are, those two are going to be, uh, I, you know, I want to say duking it out because that's yeah. what's like a boxing match tonight because it was so physical. But, yeah, you're going to hear a lot of uh, Monroe Central and Highland in the next couple of years because they're so young. Uh, Seminoles getting a round of applause and well-deserved for a terrific season. Again, most wins in the school history this year. Finishing up their season at 23-2. And, and first ever trip to the district finals. And goes down tonight by 11 to this Highland team. And now they'll go to the district championship presentation for the Hawks. We'll pick that up.
getting their championship presentation and the Hawks getting the win tonight 54-43 and kind of looking at how the game played out Highland led 14-9 after one and then outscored the Seminoles 17-13 in the second quarter Highland led by 9 31-22 at the half and then Highland outscoring the Seminoles 9-8 in the third they led by 10 40-30 through three and the Seminoles just couldn't get back in it as Highland would go on to get the win 54-43 to capture the district championship for an eighth consecutive season for Highland leading the way for them that was Sammy Detweiler who had a lead all scores for the Hawks Detweiler in double figures for the fourth time in postseason play the 18th time on the year as for Sammy Detweiler he would have finished up on the night going one for three on three point tries three for seven from a two point range and also seven for eight from the foul line Detweiler finished up with 16 points also in double figures was Sam Wingard Wingard in double figures 
And see to finish up in double figures this evening. Uh, Sam Winger with the 10 points in all for him. And for Sam Winger in double figures for the third time of the season. First time in postseason action in double figures. And for him, a five-point shy of time, his season high. Uh, for Winger, he would have finished up going... One for two on three-point tries, three for three from two-point range, one for two for the foul line. Wingard had ten points, and he had seven of those ten in the second quarter. Also, nine points on it by Caleb Mishler on three three-pointers that he knocked in. Eight points for Nick Wigdon, six points for Alex Miller, three points for C.J. Yoder, and also two for Logan Hershberger, running out the Highland total of 54. For Monroe Central, they had two players in double figures. That was Tucker Howe and Chance Allen. Tucker Howe would go 0 for 3 from the on the arc in 6 for 9 from two-point range. He had 12 points. Chance Allen going 0 for 1 on three-point tries, 5 for 6 from two-point range, 2 for 3 from the foul line. Chance Allen also had 12 points. Seven points scored by Cooper Howe. Six points for Dylan Pardon. Six points also scored by Keaton Silva on two three-point baskets. Did not score in the second half. And that was the total for the Seminoles of 43. Highland wins it. They capture the district championship 54-43 to over Monroe Central. Now for the final team numbers, here's Don Hall. Thank you very much, Matt. Behind the arc, Highland 6 of 15 for 40%. Monroe Central 2 of 11 for 18%. Two-point field goals, Highland 13 of 23 Monroe Central, 16 of 26 for 62%. From the charity stripe, Highland, 10 of 14 for 57%. Monroe Central, 5 of 8 for 63%. Total rebounds, Highland wins that, 24 to Monroe Central's 20. Total turnovers, Monroe Central with 16, Highland with 11. (laughs) They got it done. Got it done. Uh Uh-huh. Absolutely. <laughs> it was fun, wasn't it? <laughs> Junior Slayball stopping by for a little chat here. We'll always talk to him. And Highland gets this victory. The Hawks fans pretty happy here tonight, Don, and they should be. Oh, they should be. <laughs> uh, they just uh, not a whole lot of people, I'll bet you, around the community other than the Highland Hawks faithful thought that they would be playing in the regional tournament with all the injuries and everything that was going on this year but I'll tell you what there's a will to win there and there's expectations there and uh, it's just uh, never say never and uh, it's just that it's just installed in them and it comes from when they were young kids and, and then they go through believing and and all that hard work they put in the summer this is what happens for that. Don't know anything different. That's just one of those teams that you, you don't want to count out. Never count this team out. Oh, that's absolutely mm. true. I would never do, especially with Mark Slayball coaching them. I, I did just they, they were ready to go. And Mark has surrounded himself with a really super staff, and, and uh, they were prepared, ready to go. Uh, but I'll tell you what, four of the six three-pointers that Highland made tonight were by their subs coming off the bench. Yep. And I'll tell you that, that speaks volumes. I, even on my little stat sheet, wrote down role players. You know, I, I just thought tonight somebody's role players are going to make a difference, and Highlands did. And those guys have really grown up a lot as the season has gone on here, and obviously that was big, as you mentioned tonight. So going back to the regionals, you know we're going to find somebody good, either whether it's Northside Christian or uh, obviously Northmore. Somebody's going to be pretty good at the combo, but Highlands certainly uh, for familiar with those, uh, uh, those confines over at Ohio University. Absolutely. I mean, it's, it's just so secondhand for them. They're mm-hmm. going to go down to Athens, but I'll tell you what, they're going to cherish. They're going to go down there. They're going to play extremely hard. They're going to be extremely prepared, and they're, they're going to lay it all out on the line. And uh, uh, Highland, just right there, just goes to show you they're one of the top 16 teams left in the state of Ohio, Division Four. They get it done again. Highland wins at 54-43. Highland goes to 20-6. and six. They've won five games in a row. And again, their eighth consecutive district championship. And again, they will play either Northside Christian or Northmore. That game is scheduled for 8.30 tonight, so we won't know that until later on the result of that. But they'll play either one of those the next uh, Tuesday, 6 p.m. at the Convo at Ohio University. And for Monroe Central, they'll end their season with the most successful season in school history at 23-2, and two, snapping a four-game winning streak. And for us, of course, more big basketball coming away tomorrow night. It'll be Girls Division 4 Regional Championship Basketball. It'll be uh, from Pickerington North for the right to move on to the State Highland, taking on Waterford, and we'll have that for you live on FM 95.3, WKLMFM.com, airtime 625, and also we'll be video streaming that game as well, posting the video stream 
due to OHSA regulations immediately following that game for tomorrow night. Also, stay tuned. We'll have more reports from the state wrestling tournament as well, with West Holmes competing from the Jerome Schottenstein Center in Columbus for that. I do want to thank our video live stream partners, that being Claxon Communications, Jacob Heading, and alongside Sean Troyer, also helped bring you this video stream coverage for the evening. And also thanks to Rogan Steimel back at WKLM Sports Central. And our Six Buddies player of the game tonight, by the way, going to Sam Wengard. Wengard with 10 points, had that big first half and had some, a lot of second chance opportunities were due to him and his great defense. So Sam Wengard, our Six Buddies player of the contest. For Don Hall, I'm Matt Croy. Get a reminder to stick around for high school scoreboard after the game. The final score in Boys Division IV District Championship Basketball from Union Local. Highland captures the district title 54-43 over Monroe Central. So long, everybody. Thank you for watching High School Basketball from your hometown radio station, FM 95.3 WKLM. Tonight's broadcast has been a production of WKLM Radio and Claxon Communications.